What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the I'm Not Lucky, I'm Blessed podcast, the show where we celebrate young entrepreneurs and their achievements, and then we inspire up and comments to go make profit using their passion. And as usual, I'm your host, Lucky the Most, and enjoy the show. Hey, guys, episode 123, and as usual, I have a special guest in the building. But before I introduce our special guest, oh guys, if this is your first time listening to the podcast, I want you to like, share, subscribe, and also give us a follow, man. So with that said, today we have a special guest in the building, our own, our own, Ninja, Ninja's favorite Yankee uh-huh. boy is in the building uh-huh. today. Chai! <laughs> Hey. You know, this guy doesn't need any more introduction, man. We got the one and only Ugo Boy in YG. the building, YG. brother. Welcome, YG. man. YG, no. Too much, too much, too much, too much. Love, too much. YG, yeah. no. I'm good, man. Yourself? Bro, we thank God, man. Just been pushing, man. Like, life has just been going. So, me, I've just been doing my own too. Just thanking God, being grateful. But life is, motion is steady, bro. Motion feel, is steady. We I thank feel, God. I feel, thank I, God. I did say enjoyment for your body. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh-uh. Bro, that's the only way we were able to get through life. Like, everyone's going through something. But at the end of the day, you have to find something that, like, ah, this is sweet. Something to wake up for. Something to wake up for. It's like, ah, this is sweet. I have to push this agenda. Whichever one, whichever one you get. So, like, for me now, obviously, this music P, they go. Float your boat. Yeah. That's nah, my online. Like, whatever that floats boat. your boat, yeah. man, rock with it. Yeah. That's why I say, you know, they sink my own. You understand? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> bro, I like to make music, me, stuff I didn't like. So, like, enjoyment, bro. Mm-hmm. That one is self-explanatory. That one, I, if you haven't heard that jam, make sure you stream enjoyment now. Enjoyment now, now. now, now. now. You, they listen to music. Happy, happy release day, bro. like bro. This the track, the single was released today. Yeah, now fresh. it's been on. It's been on for me personally. It's been on replay. My G. Enjoyment now. Nah, the the song they really like. It gives me that enjoyment vibe. Yeah, now I know something that woman you talk about, though, but even on this, me I the enjoy Yeah, now you know my favorite part now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Yes, not matter. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to learn that whole part, the board <laughs> very cashy. That 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 Thank yeah, you, very bro. cashy. Thank you, bro. Thank you. So, what inspired the song, man? So, as you know, me and they go back and forth, Yankee, yeah. Niger, Lagos. So I was in Lagos, you know. So like maybe Christmas time, I was just making my motion with the plug. Shout out my G's from the plug, Asa, um, Daniel, all my guys, Anthony. So. Every show that was going on, every event that was going on, yeah. I, UG Alpha, if you, if you follow us, like, you know, so I was just everywhere, just steady motion Sunday through Sunday. I was always, but it wasn't just from a consumer standpoint. I was, like, in a space where it was comfortable. I was enjoying it. So being in that atmosphere, you know, December time, mm-hmm. not Africa, mm-hmm. but, yeah. but Nigeria in particular, like, bro, different. for Lagos, Lagos like, ah, different level. Now enjoyment, they end the up enjoyment, body. yeah. They pound body, <laughs> like, bro, you did. <laughs> we did learn for here now. We did learn. We did learn. Um, we did learn. Um, guy, for Lagos, I think come out house like 2 a.m. You understand? Now for Boston, we don't finish, you don't come out club. Club. For two AM, ah, you say me and don't come out house. house. <laughs> different, different. Well, let that was singing. You understand, right? Yeah. Before we don't get that too, yeah, but I let that get up. Say two AM, that you didn't come out for house. I swear. But then would they come out from club from Boston? They go yeah, house. Yeah, now you know that makes sense. But it's cool. We it's cool, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, we respect that. You know, yeah, thank God, <laughs> America high. So, <laughs> but back to enjoyment. So like that whole vibe, that whole time period is like. For many people, say like if, if you're there, like you're any other place outside of Nigeria, that moment in time is just something you get to enjoy once. once when you come that one time of the year, it, maybe you may not come the next year. So that feeling, that thing, that way they ginger your body. Like, yeah. Ah, what's going to happen? Where are we going to? Like, I wanted to put it into a capsule, something where you could play over oh, and over oh. and over and over. Instead of because just enjoying it once no, when you go, just no, keep playing it. it's just it's just the replay. You can play to go to workouts, yep. to go party. Yep. If you, like if you want to do homework, <laughs> anyway, it just, it. yes. Now every you just be moving your body like that's just like music is supposed to make you feel a way. Yeah, not everybody's singing happy songs, that's but it's supposed to make you feel a way. Now this one, ah, summer is not over quite yet, yeah. so. It was just timing. Everything is just timing. So like, I'm so happy this song came out like, at yeah. this time, and the way it's being received. Like, you know, we expected it, but it's, it still feels good when you see it, though. I feel you know, it, still, that's grateful. a good song. 
Who walked with you on this music? Is it the same people you've been working with on? No, this this particular producer, shout out Sound Chef, man. Chef. Ah, for me, we'll stay, but I met him in Lagos. We were doing this uh, writing camp together now, so he's a producer, bad guy, yeah. So, like, after I was seeing how he was chopping up sounds for everyone else, I'm like, ah, guy. come, 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 the night before, he sent me like four beats. So I was just chilling with my guys. Okay, what's what happening? Which one are you guys feeling? Because that's how I would really like figure out which sound is making sense in Lagos. I'll yes. just see which people, which beats are you liking. If I like these four, mm. which ones are these? Yeah. So we chose the enjoyment beat. Okay, no. Well, actually, we didn't even choose that beat. We chose another one. Mm. And he showed the next day. And he played the enjoyment beat. I was just looking at my G's like, ah, Weezy, bro. Ah. Now this one don't enter. So, me and Sound Chef, you load up, you load up the beat. So, bro, it was just seamless. We didn't even put too much sweat. Just as we were like, baby, like just that one was the first thing that clicked for me, baby. Why can't move slowly? And then we just, bro, and then it's like working with Sound Chef. It's like driving on the highway where it'd be like narrow highway. They'd be guide, they'd be the guardrails. Keep you from going off going the cliff. Off the cliff, yeah. Yeah, they go. I they go anyhow. Me and when I freestyle, anything fit come up. He was like, ah, we we'll go, go ginger him this way. So it's like, okay. Very, <laughs> very strict. Bro, we did that song. I swear down. No, no more than two hours because only because he added more production to the, to the to the song after we finished, finished recording. It, yeah. So we started doing all the other things. That that trumpet you hear, you know, the breakdown, like. It was just it's like some, certain songs you might work on. I'll come back to come this back one. Like, to, yeah. This one was just like after we recorded that one time, I didn't say anything else for that song. Like that was it. I just sent it to my guy. Shout out Jerry Wine. Are you Mixer serious? Master. Just after that one session, just send them. Like that's like certain songs. It just they happen like that. <laughs> yeah, bro. On the like, spot. You have to just give cookie, it to them. Cookie. Yeah. And I was just, you know, we have a secret. Can't tell anybody. You have good news. You can't share yet. Bro, I, I was sitting for months with for this one. For months? How like, you ah, wait? Ah, it pained me, bro. So I was like, ah, right, Ugo, you have to be outside. You have to be pushing. You have to be, like, on gold. That's the only way you can make up for this time between uh, mm, you making yep, this song and, and giving it and to waiting, him. Waiting, that waiting happen. period, yeah. Because people ask, why? Why, you know, drop? just calm down. Calm down. Everything is everything's soft. Everything goes soft. Go push. Patient. Just patience. I feel you. So, I mean, you didn't keep your fine just... Doing nothing, you were still on tour, bro. Walking in back to like, back, you know, Davido's yeah. concert, you were there. Davido's show, you traveled with him to Canada, yeah, yeah, no. did all that. Um, Rema, you were there at Rema's yes, too, right? Yeah, yeah, so like the page was the, the fans were still engaged, yeah, you understand? No, yeah. They don't just stand and wait for enjoyment. No, I was you know playing was? the whole time, <laughs> I was doing all those shows. From all the way back to the CK tour in March, yeah. I was performing enjoyment yeah. leading up until now. Oh, uh, because I don't enjoy, I don't hear enjoyment before now. Nah. Even for we day here, I hear enjoyment. Yeah, no. But the live band, though, it will make it sound differently from what you heard today. Yeah, but yeah, since March, I've I don't been, lie, you caught me. I, I, I was like, I've heard this, I've heard this tune before. Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, I saw this guy like. Cause you, say, you said Indomie in that song, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, I saw this guy like Indomie wait for two songs in the East Indomie. <laughs> bro, they chop Indomie die for the ghost. Chop Is Indomie it? die. Bro, I know me an egg with bread. You know me egg with bread. We did okay. Bread, we did okay. We did okay Keep like it that. moving, you know. Bro, no bro, time for food, you know. Bro, sometimes, especially during election period. Yeah. Ah, bro. Inside your house for that time period, so plenty egg for that time. <laughs> and Indomie and bread. Ah, ah. Uh. So, like, lately I've been seeing this trend that music, the Afrobeat, the music in general, you know, like, um, Ruga said he recorded, uh, recorded his, his current album that's about to drop in, like, hours. Mm -hmm. um, this boy, Charlie Poppy, said he did his album freestyle in an hour or two, and you two, you just did this song. And, like, what is this? Like, what's in the make the song sweet like this it, way? It's not even some people. Everybody just did drop it. <laughs> In an hour, like, <laughs> like when you are creative, sometimes when you're in that space, yeah, and there's nothing else pulling you left or right, you're Distracting. just it, it can really happen that fast. Ah. Some people like, like, try to do it on like on purpose, like they try to force it. Like, um, I must get this song in thirty. Mm. Mm -hmm. It just sometimes it just comes like that. I won't sit here and say every single song I've made, I did it bomb like that. Yeah. I won't say that because I made plenty of songs where I'm like, yeah. I'll come back to it. I've changed the verse. I've even 
done the whole song over again. Done that before many times, but this one where it's like, guys, the universe, everything is just timing. Timing. Like for real, for real, Williams, he says something where it's like, when you're starting an idea, like if you finish, if you don't finish it, if you don't like fulfill it, guy, that that spark, that spark you can't come back can't tomorrow. Come back tomorrow, and you get so yeah. like when you're in that moment when it just like you have to catch it. Just, it's like, it's like a butterfly. Yeah, like, ah, got this one. Got this one. Got yeah. This one. yeah. yeah. Yeah, that so, is dope, man. Bro, it's sweet. It's sweet. And me seeing you on that picnic day too, you get mm-hmm. right. I, I was like, I didn't know you're dropping this song this <laughs> Friday, but it's like in that moment I was like, I just have to. I felt that energy. I was like, just use this energy. You know, but like you know, my even my goal was not even this week for your podcast. I, I wanted to say because I had someone planned this week. Do you mm. get right? Yeah, but when you told me the the song was drop, I was like. This is the perfect time to yeah. come on the show and talk about the song. I love. I heard the song too. I even. I love the song. I was like, <laughs> the right song to bring. It's yeah, it's no. what the it's what the person that I you know cancel like rescheduled. You understand, mm-hmm. right? So like, and I had to focus on this energy. And no matter what happened, I'm like, it has to happen today too. Yeah, you no, understand, right? Sure. So yeah, um, big um, man. yeah, man. I appreciate you. Like, I know all the delays. Like, <laughs> ah, please forgive me. No, 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 no. Don't be like brashing. It wasn't any arrogance. I beg, like, bro. So no, no, I feel you, man. Yeah, man. I did with you now. Yeah, yeah thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So we'll go tell us now. How how you guys start music? Hmm? How music start for you? <sighs> hmm. The, everybody has the early beginnings. Like, oh, I was in the choir. I was doing, but like for me, that one, like that's a start. But the, like being serious, my my yeah. music career, like it started. I would say twenty seventeen. Twenty seventeen. Yeah, I was doing rap music at yeah, that time. I saw, yeah, you doing. I was rap. doing rap music at that time. So, just the direction of where I was going with my music, my approach was different because I wasn't seeing things as. Globally, as I as I'm seeing it now, it was very marginal. It was very like I was doing trap music. I was making hood music. Ah, yeah. nigga, nigga, rocks. Can I? Can I? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so it was making music like that, but it's like that only captured like ten percent, twenty percent who I am. Not enough. Like if even if I'm making that kind of music, music right, yeah, there's so many more people that never even like. They don't know anything about this Ugo. What's in they talk for this music? <laughs> <laughs> What's in happening? Make so if apple. that's your whole catalog, yep. I can't come back to my community and come do that. Come I, do can't, that. I can't my perform pe- that kind of music at the picnic we did last weekend. Yeah. So at that point, I didn't even reason it that way. For me, I was just like, ah, there's like love songs I want to do, but like I want to be pompous to do this ah tough guy thing. And it's like, I feel like rap music for me, yeah. that was what... I feel like I had to either do that way or do something else. So in that time, one of my G's was like, bro, like he was just feeding me like Afrobeat songs at the time because like even though that's the culture we grew up in prior to like 2017, God, I'd be Yankee Boy, Wanja, yeah. ah, ah, what's it happen now? Yeah, <laughs> now so, yeah, nah, Amigos, Future, sure. all that kind ah. of music. Like, Are you serious? Like Young Thug. I still listen to those those guys now, like, but that was the kind of push like I was like, yeah. You know, but like when he was like, "Bro, you can still be that guy on this type of beats. You don't have to change who you are. In fact, you could be more of who you are mm. in this space." And I sat with that one. I was like, "Wait, so that means so on Sunday, if I want to tell someone, guy, if I reason you, but Tuesday I want to talk about my madame, it's okay. I can do all of that. I can cover every okay, spectrum of in this space." Okay, that one makes sense. So what I had to do now, because it's easy, just be like, okay. We'll do what we do on this one, and um, no, 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 no. It's two different, yeah, two different yeah, jobs, yeah, two different like writing structures. Every two, yeah, it's we, just two different worlds initially, especially where it's like ah, like bro. So even pulling it into Afro guy, yeah. that one like, hmm, it was fun, bro. But it was a thing where I had to like, as I'm like. Carving out my space, mm. it's the thing where I, I have to keep drilling it in people's head because again, it's this outside out thing now. I'm coming from this approach where I've been doing rap music. Rap music. Yes, of course, I'm in tune with my who I am oh, because yeah. like, at the end of the day, I would go back and forth between Nigeria and, and Yankee. Yankee, but it was just I was pushing the Yankee agenda for a very long time. As much as I knew 
Ugo Chuku was. Yeah. You know, but now with the music, it's like, okay, now you have to go back and do your research. Because all those years where you're just brushing off those songs, you, oh have to, you have to make sure you are sharp. Because not only will you be tested on that information, but you need that for understanding where the sound was to understand where it's going to go and all the things around that influenced by it. So certain things I was listening to, like 2017, like those frequencies, those sounds are coming back. So it cycles. So to understand, and it goes deep. We talk about how Fuji music now don't enter. Mm. Fuji music, though. You understand? Yeah, yeah. yeah bringing high life into our my into piano. Our piano. You understand? Yeah. Kind of so it's like, and it's sweet, though. It makes sense. It makes all the sense in the world. So it's like, bro, you have to, you have to know. So for me, I just like, I'll just go, I'll just start like filing backwards, just like, okay, slowly, okay, which guy I want to listen to? Whether it be Wiz Kid, bro, bro, I would dial all the way back to, to all the, the, to their beginning. Yeah, bro, because it's like, you have to, even if you don't, even if like, in a few weeks, you don't want to jam that same song again, but you have to at least hear those patterns, those patterns. rhythms to understand yeah. how it trailed to this point. point to now jump into, it's like almost like, okay, as you're entering the highway, so you, you know, go look, like, look, go look before you, you, before yeah. you just, <laughs> once we enter the highway, highway. Yeah. Oh, with a clear road, with a fine lane, just, yeah, so, Wow, yeah. wow, that's deep, man. That's <laughs> deep. So wait, so wait. Um, okay, but first, you know that you give me this YC vibe, mm -hmm. yeah. Because what the reason why I love YC, eh? YC if he rap for you, if he sing for you too, you get it, right? Right? Why? Why if he give you Yankee? Mm -hmm. He give you Afro beats. You mm -hmm. understand, right? So give me that YC vibe. But just knowing that you started off with rap, yeah, and now you're doing afro beat mm -hmm. but Af like it suits you mm -hmm. and i know when you be the do rap to rap suits you too yeah, you no. get right yeah, and yeah. completely just changing you're you're not more calm and collected you understand mm -hmm. right and and like you look like the songs you sing you 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 you, you get right mm -hmm. you sing your love songs and all that and, and you also portray that part mm -hmm. you get right and when you were singing rap too, i bet you were portraying that rap lifestyle yeah my question is how were you able to you get right change or maybe change is not the right word how did you rebrand yourself to become this ugo um the thing is is like for me ugo the difference between like don cruzio the rapper yeah. that was my rap name don cruzio oh don, <laughs> don cruzio yeah so the difference between like don cruzio and ugo is that that's my government that's my that's my name my my god given name that's who i am to the core mm. So when I came into Afrobeats, I'm like, bro, you are going to be you and you're going to make people like you. There's certain days where I have it. I be UG bad guy. As much as I make love songs for, songs, the, for yeah, the girls, I'm not yeah. a guy. I came from a house of four women, four sisters, my mom, my grandma. So I've always been around women. Yeah. Women will always influence my sound. Yeah. But I always want people who don't get that construed. <laughs> I still be UG bad guys. <laughs> but it's at the end of the day, it's like with the music now. There's space for all of the above. It's not everything we're just coming with flowers. Sometimes we're coming to carve our space. Sometimes at the end of the day, yeah. like you get like, so the rebranding is just like, bro, finding that space, what fits you? What like understanding, okay, this is the market you're trying to target. You understand what they want, but understand who you are, where well, you don't have to change that to be them. It's just more or less, okay, this is what you like. Well, I got this. Well, I have this. This is me though, like you know, because at the end of the day, what you don't want, the next person will want. Wanted, yeah. And that's the idea of it being an international brand now, where it's like that idea of being an outsider has become a you know ad advantage, where we, like I fit in both spaces. I did for Lagos, but I did Yankee long time. So it's like and everything in between, just because it's like. I am who I am. Yeah. I'm cultured. I understand. I've seen many things, not just in Nigeria, like worldwide. So it's like, I don't know everything, but I'm a, I adapt. I adapt. Like I'm still myself at the end of the day, but it's like, I understand how to move in, in spaces. Like, bro, like I was in Lagos by myself. Like if I want to go to these places, like me, I didn't make movement by myself. Yeah. 
won't go get food there, bro. Not because I I don't get money to get Uber, but I day on foot on the street to go get my food myself, bro. I like I like just not because I I couldn't have someone do it, but just like bro, I have to be in that space yeah. to understand the people, to understand who I'm trying to now get them to understand who I am. Mm. I'm not convincing them of anything else. Anything else besides this is me. You're going to like it. But I know with this music for a while my focus has been you have to get them to like you, like you. before everybody else will mm. for the sake of this sound. I still believe in it in some way but at the very same time I'm still working every other angle. But I'm still me. It's like bro, we can't not everyone go like you. You have to just do your own P. Yeah. And find out what works for you. So for me, I've been still, even as much as everything looks polished, we're still fine-tuning by the day. Every day it still has to be better than yesterday. Because you're only as good as your last product, and it can't that's be from true. that long ago. That's so that's why I had to drop this jam immediately. Yeah. I've been, bro, I've been, I won't even say disguising it, but I haven't dropped in over a year now. But it's just been so much going on since then that, it, like, everything, the timing was okay. It's like, okay, finally dropped. Ah, but, like, there's been so much motion, bro. Like, ah, like, thank God. Yeah. Like, when you say so much emotion, like, what are you? No, not emotion. Yeah, I mean, motion. So, motion, yeah, yeah, so much going on. Like, so, what do you, like, what do you? If we dial back from the project last year, last year I dropped my, my second EP. Passion and Palava. Passion and Palava, bro, that, <laughs> I love that project. That one on my baby. Shout out <laughs> Zaki Amuje, bro. Like, that one is one of those projects that, like, Cooked it up in his apartment. We just it wasn't any super polished like studio, studio right? like this, like this, like this, right? one, yeah, like this yeah, fine yeah, establishment yeah. that we did like yep, this. Yeah, you get a shout out to Chicken Room now. Yeah, boy. So that project, man, is one of those things where over time there was a new favorite for everybody. It started with one night, and then then there was magic, then there was everybody craze, then it was whoa for a small period, then eventually it became. Palm Wine. Palm Wine low key was always my personal favorite. That's when yeah, I'm still I've always pushed that one. I'll still perform that one. Tomorrow if I go do shows. Sure, you get you for, you <laughs> you Palm Wine for buddy. So <laughs> like that project, it had longevity. That's one thing that I was like, okay, even though you haven't dropped in a year, the way you're able to move from that project, hop go do uh on my late show, then we go do CK show. That's when we connect with CK. I go back to Lagos, do my own P, and because I, I've already made that connection here in Boston, ah, they see me for Lagos. We go, what's gonna happen? We did Lagos like this, ah. Come now. Come now, come do CK show for Lagos. Ah, okay, no problem, no other. Do the December runs, all the December shows. That, like, that one's like around my birthday, so it's like perfect timing. I'm already in that energy. Energy, like, yeah. Get me, so we're doing shows, we're going to all these shows. I was like, bro, as, as Shady Vibe is dropping, nah, I'm, nah, I'm, like, I'm with his team, so because, like, certain relationships I had, so, like, ah, Ugo, we're going to the Shade show. Like, we are, like, not just going, we're, at, like, with him, mm. with his team. And it would just be, like, two or three times a week, you know, we'd just be going to all these shows in Lagos. And it's, like, this is before I fully even Sabi the guy like that. Can you imagine now? As yeah. a guy is climbing up, you, are, you I'm just you, I'm just with him <laughs> now. Just, I just did here. But it's, like, I didn't, like, you know, when you get these kind of stars, people, they want, oh, my God, they start acting out of, Characters, yeah. it was like, bro. I was just, ah, I'd be UG now. So quiet, man. When my time comes, when you want, hey, how far now? There will be that time. So we passed through doing all those shows while we're doing all those shows. Go and do CK campus tour for Niger. You get me? So after doing that, we do shows one day called. Then we came back, um, came back Yankee, like May, came back May, then uh, June. June was um, the first time, bro, I haven't seen it for Boston, so I would say it's the first time that, like, artists from Boston did their own headlining show in Boston. I've never seen it before, so if someone has done it, please call me and correct me. I don't mean to disrespect mm -hmm. anybody, mm -hmm. but for the history of me being around, I haven't seen, seen it done before. before. So yeah. that one was big for the city. That was big for Uche, Wade, myself, all the artists that were involved. What's this guy's name? Like, Cassie. Cassie o, um, Olu Vibes, Caleb. Who else am I missing? Uh, a sensation, like, bro. Everybody, like, that was a big night for the city. So after doing that one now, we lock in, you know, the David Doe show. show yeah. That one, ah. <laughs> that one was serious business. Like, ah, like, bro. Even just the way everything, we like, the way we just, 
Like went through that whole thing The way we just came through Guy We came deep I was like 10 deep All my G's came We're wearing our Omo uniform Like bro We had our merch We came oh, through That David night. Yeah no, oh, man. no, nah, no nah, That nah, David night Was not bro, Was no. not ordinary nah. <laughs> 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 nah, that, that David night Night make me mm, You understand right Be a Hugo fan Like <laughs> No, no, bro, the, bro, I mean, the energy time, was right. Time, bro, I love David O. Die, bro. David O. Not special. Guy, I, I tell you this now, now, since like 2021, yeah. my intention of going to Lagos was What's to meet David O. I had a manager that I put him in the space of being my manager yeah. because he said he knew. You know, David O. <laughs> you understand? So when I finally got to meet him like this year, I was like, bro. I've been working my I, I, Before I even before get a chance to even Baba, I will go far. Are you serious? That guy is not natural. <laughs> David Oda. David Oda. I'm making a live long. It's not, that's not the point. How you this? I've been like... <laughs> <laughs> Even though you're how you name Ugo. Ugo, how far now? Ugo, how far now? Ah, now you be this Ugo, how far now? Guy, At that point, you don't... Bro, be, bro, this is before the show. This is before I enter stage. Mm. So everything you don't see for stage, I don't... David Do, Obi Yo Sabi me. Call, eh, call your name. Eh, eh. Day for my city now. Day for Boston, yeah, ah, kudos guy. Yeah. Everybody just clear, bro. We go enter stage. Kudos to it. Now, now your energy, bro. Yeah. My Vim was your, on. your ah, ah, I see you. Now what? Bro, I, no, no, no. I see. Yeah, I see. I, go. I, I saw it. Go. We felt the energy. <laughs> we feel, bro. We felt the energy, man. Bro, bro I can't lie, bro. That 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 moment right there. Like even though I had the opportunity to do the show, that was I thank God for that one. But that moment where that interaction, guy, it changed me, bro. Yeah. Like. Humbly, not in a way where I'm brash. Bra- like, ah, it's just, yeah. it just like, no, Ugo, run, run now, run, run. Even now it's time to even double yes, up. Now, yeah, like, run. Like, like ah, we're not walking we're to not this walking agenda. Anymore, we are man. running full speed. Like, Energy. We're already, we're Climb like, that stage like, where Ugo is there? In a big day. <laughs> bro, bro, that one. I, and then just from everything that happened from that show, now the guy that do logistics for the show, ah, you Jaffa, if you follow us to run, Toronto, Shh. Like that. If you follow us to Toronto. <laughs> what do oh, yeah. you talk? <laughs> bro, I'm like, oh yeah now. Oh yeah now, guys. Oh, yeah, now. Let us go. So as I call my G's, oh yeah, oh, yeah, come, 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 guys, guys. We have to pack our bags, get the rental. We are going to Toronto. They're like, bro, <laughs> we are going to Toronto. Big time. You squeeze the two. Either you're it or you're not, man. Guy, I went with my managers. Shout out Ben Two. Shout out the biggest chief, my G. Shout out Malik. I, I went with my three guys, just the four of us, just like this. We just, it was like eight, well, yeah, it was like eight, nine hours to Toronto straight. So we got to the hotel. We waited for checking. After we checked in, we got food. I didn't even, I made maybe like small nap, just a small, because we got, they rode for like yeah, almost 10 hours passing the border. I never been to Canada before, yeah. bro. I never been. So that was just like, bro. So I couldn't even really sleep. I was just like, ah, bro, let's. <laughs> You're yeah, performing in front of 16,000. Guy, wake 16, 000. up. 16,000. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> sleep. Wake up. Yeah, we'll sleep later. We'll go sleep and we'll reach Boston. Bro, after that show, I slept. You slept. You slept. I, slept. <laughs> I didn't go that sleep was that different. party, bro. Mm-hmm. I was tired. <laughs> after that show, guys, maybe they go hotel. I was asleep. But, like, bro, that moment, I was just like, ah. Bro, what's going to happen now? Like, yeah, we day here now, like for real, for real. So it's like, bro. And at that point, I wasn't even sure like how I was going to give the single because there's just so much so about much that goes about dropping. Anybody could just do like the this stroke kid, and but like when you're in certain situations, like you have everything has to go a certain way for it to make sense. Mm. You get so with everything happening now, this David O tour followed by the Rema the Rema show, and that one was like. Bro, because sometimes when they, when it's time to do show, okay, you get this set early in the show. Yeah. But for the Rema show, guy, they don't treat me like one of the main acts of the show. You understand? And I won't say it's like a surprise because it's not like inside. I feel that way. But when you when people start like acting like okay, that's that's the way we should be moving. It's like oh yeah, now where they go. Unfazed, so it was that like, they gave me like twenty minutes. They gave me twenty minutes. For that. Like I went into the show thinking, okay, we're doing like five to ten minutes set, oh. do three songs. 
guy. Give you 20 you know, minutes. They run out. <laughs> but you don't end them now. Bro, don't work long time for that one. We thank God, bro. And yeah. like, for me personally, it's not even, it's, it's what you do when you're up there. You get right? The performance you give. Go me, I could tell you, like, I've seen up and coming go on stage. You understand? I've seen young, I've seen people, but there's something about, there's something different when you perform. You get right? Mm-hmm. You you come prepared. Yeah. Like, you act like this might be your last performance. You get right? Mm-hmm. Like, you, you, you come with the best from the style. You understand, right? You make sure to see you yourself, you yeah, look no. with you, you do. Yeah, no. You get right? Yeah, no. Then you get dancers, we back you mm-hmm. and then you get hype man with like your team on your own eh? if if i learned like i look you i learn like when when you when, when you perform that um we did here mm-hmm. and then also david i was like this guy know where they go man. this guy they invest in this this guy they invest in this and like and what people see that in you where eh? they treat you like that man yeah, no. now the way you you present yourself, people go like two faces. The way you dress, now they go use that dress. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. And now the same way you present yourself, people go, you know, you, like the same respect they'll give you too. Yeah, no. So like I feel like you have what it takes to give a twenty minutes performance. Yeah, you do an hour, bro. I have play, <laughs> I, I play two songs, yeah, bro. We can do. do sp- yeah, and that's the thing. Like the thing is like not only having like the catalog to do it, bro. Like. I know be bodybuilder like you, but I train, bro. I stay in shape. Stay in like shape, it's not yeah. just oh, we go. No, I run. Like, I do cardio. Like I'm in shape yeah. to do something like that because it takes energy, energy to be to dancing, jumping, dancing and, and still be able to hit a note. Like yeah, you know, like yeah. so, bro. We work hard, bro. At the end of the day, like with this music thing, like th- I think there's levels to it, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So if you want to be able to do the big festivals. Do productions yeah. like it's not just be at that stage. Hi, um, my name is Ugo. Ugo. Ugo you get me? I um, you check my meal or something. <laughs> Where's my phone? <laughs> like in the end, then no one is listening to that one. So it's like, bro, when you're looking at the Chris Browns, Drake, Beyonce is like, uh, by Bunny Festival, Burnout Boy, bro. We are looking at like iconic. Music, iconic music, iconic artists. I don't care if you like any of their music, but at the end of the day, those people have cycled the world. Mm. And they could go into spaces of many places of the world where we were packing out 10, 20, 30,000, 40, 50,000 in multiple spaces, not just in Niger. Niger, yeah. So I'm like, bro, that's, that's, that's where I won't go. And they learn small, small dance moves just where it's like, okay, we're putting on a show. Show. Just the same way you're going to watch Broadway, you're going yeah. to watch a film. That 20 minutes, that 10 minutes, that 30 minutes, that hour is, I want to give a production, bro. I love movies. I, I love when, like, cause the thing is music and, and movies are like, so like intertwined. Like they're Simon's twins. Same, yeah. What do they call it? Simon's twins. Siamese oh. twins. They're like Siamese twins. Music and, and movies. You can't you can't have one without the other now. Gotcha. We have your music. You have your music, music videos yeah, that are yeah. parallel to movies. movies when yeah. you do movies, you hear music, music in, the, in back. the background. Yeah. And even the people that we, we switch sides sometimes. Yeah, so yeah, it's like, yeah. bro, you have to put on a show. People are paying their hard earned money to come I'm see you. you. Can you imagine someone that's making minimum wage to come pay two hundred dollars oh, to come see you. see you, and you're just and you're just when we pull up around town, like bro, <laughs> <laughs> they play like <laughs> they whine, bro. What's to happen? They don't go show again. Mm. Yeah, I want every every person that see me perform. I want to see that UG guy again. Bro, <sighs> you were like top three, like David Doe, that band that came mm-hmm. on, and and then you. My top three. My G. You made my, like, those three times. Uh, the rest, I was like, on a try, on a try, on a try. But I was like, on oh, another serious man. <laughs> but the music big now, man. Yeah, yeah, the music yeah. big now. And, like, for you to stand out, bro, you must do something with, you, like, completely, really yeah, good no. by people heart, man. So. Thank God. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. Man. No, like, next question. Like, what, thing, like, what was it about you that made them take you for the David Doe's? To, like to go to Toronto with David. Ah, bro, it's all packaging. It's like from the contact yeah. to how you got the contact to how you stay in contact to how you look in front of the contact, contact to what value you're bringing. Because this same contact that I have, I'm reaching out to to try, 
I have to make sure that person sees me kill this show. Kill this they have show. to see it. Yeah. They have to make sure we are here, like, you know, so it's like, it sometimes can be political, but you, you have to be a certain person to get into that space, to even have an opportunity to try, even try to strategize. Yeah. To even, you know, so like once you're in that space, for me, I already come in with an agenda. I wanted to do the Toronto tour, Toronto show before they asked me. I won't lie to you. I wanted to. <laughs> you, you came prepared. Yeah, I came mentally prepared. You came mentally I, I won't prepared. lie to you. Yeah. Like, like I went straight. <laughs> and you... <laughs> I mentioned, I, I mentioned it to someone before he was like, oh yeah, Ugo, just... I mentioned it to someone else, else. already. I'm like... I won't go this. How far now? How many, you know, I feel follow you guys now with my own way. Like, mm. I, what's happening? You know, okay, no problem. But you know how sometimes you like, you know, just just with someone, they might, they might forget, they might not follow okay, up. Yep. So me, I'm like, hmm, how are we going to lock this in? Yeah. That was before the show. Now after the show. So they're going to give you... Yeah, so... Bro, so like again, packaging. We came prepared, bro. Came prepared, like, like to it's one thing to bro. wish for it, but also to work for it. You understand, right? You wished for it, and you don't end there. But when you go on stage, you you gave the group up. Like you you did your thing, and at that moment, life just gives it to you. You understand, right? Yeah, okay. You don't pay the price, guy. Go. <laughs> we know you want you back. Go. Yeah, no. Because there are so many of so many artists who perform that night. Now you get right. We're supposed to go to but say they reach out to you, Cali, mm. man. It's, it's really. Thank Something God. that hard work pays, man. I'm grateful. Yeah. I'm grateful. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. no. So, yeah. like, oh, so many things there in my head. <laughs> I, want, I, I want kind of take us back to the album, um, Passion and Palava. Sure. You said that one of your favorite piece of work, especially yeah. Pan Wine. Mm -hmm. And you do this album in a place where, like, just the least, the least equipment, the least Bro, everything. With all due respect. <laughs> With all due Dude, respect, because yeah. at the end of the day, right, guy, Lagos, it's not, it's not easy. It's not easy, you know? So the way things happen, that project is divine. I won't lie to you. I know artists say things, but guy, this is, but I, like, I swear down, even how that project came about, yeah. I can't say, I like, the same way I, I said, oh, I won't come to come. Toronto before they asked me to come to Toronto. Yep, yeah. I didn't know, uh, I didn't know Amu J before. There was a moment that brought me to him. You understand? And mm. in that moment, that's where, okay, to make it very simple, in Lagos, bro, I was just, I was out with my Gs. They ended up going early. I was with these, with the other people who were just making motions to like different like clubs or whatever right now. So we're doing go past checkpoints. So one of the babes in the vehicle was like, me, I'm clean. I didn't carry me. I know Lagos, bro. I don't even carry like that for Lagos if I, if I won't come out the house. Yeah, yeah I guess since. This one babe now, ah, she they carry, like, I don't know, like some drugs. I don't know. She has something that she, as we're passing the checkpoint, they want, she won't tuck it in her dress. So they want, like, the officers say, oh, oh yeah, come down, come down. So we're there on the on the side of the road for like hours, bro. Just like, you know, they, you know how they, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as we are, like, this is by the toll gate, Lucky Face one by the gate, like right by the uh, Zenit ATM. I don't know if you have you that side Lucky Face One now, but oh, I I before I come in, na Lucky Face One I've been there. Yeah. So drive past the toll gate. Right by Admiralty. Like, yeah, 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 bro. So as we did right there, like somebody is like, it's late late at night, but like somebody is just walking, and he sees what's going on. He's like, hey, what's happened? You know. So he come diffuse the situation now. So after that, I was like, I don't know what made me like compelled to do this, but I'm like, guy, you won't follow us to club, because it's the one that even gave like. Give us clear roads to even go. Yeah, okay, you should yeah. follow. Come like how far now? But yeah, so came with us to the club, bro. We was there like we were just just and at that point. I told him I do music. You know, many people do music. So I told him that just because of the situation, he would even give it a chance. But most times, so the next day he called me. Oh go, oh go. Ah ah. What's gonna happen now? Sure, you know, be bad guy like this. What like like this is songs from like twenty twenty. I'm just like. The songs they make sense for him now, so he's like, "Bro, you guys pull up, guy. I manage, I manage this dope producer, bro. I want you to meet him. Ah, he's worked from like Fireboy, Joe Boy. You know, he was saying all these names. I was like, okay, like okay, no problem. Like you know, set it up. So brought me to this uh, this like house where there's many producers. It was like eight producers, bro. Eight, eight, like in a house, eight producers, bro. Like everyone getting different credits, like." This guy Sabi work for uh, Ricardo Banks. This guy Sabi work for Bella Shmurda. Now Zaki Amuje do work for Fireboy. Like the house, like there are many big names that mm. enter that house to do uh, songs. Are you serious? Yeah. 
So he put me into Amuje's room, plays uh plays the beat ahead of time. Amuje. I'm like, I've heard this tag many times for for Yankee. Like during COVID, I was hearing that tag all through the Afrobeat playlist. Many songs. I never asked Abi what's in the person look like. So, so I'm like, ah, now you be this. <laughs> oh yeah, no. But then the manager, again, the one that connected us, he's like, you guys should do a project. It wasn't even my idea. It yeah. wasn't the producer's idea. Now, now the guy not even talking. Yeah, no. See the guy, you guys should do, the, Are do you a serious? project. So I was like, okay, no problem now. But me, I did, like, I was just, like, paying attention because, you know, as I did Lagos for my, by myself, guy, they see Yankee boy, they see food now. They go chop. They see posh. They, ah, this guy go, you understand? So yeah. it's like me, I would come in almost like, not paranoid, but like sharp to that agenda. I try not to hold it against people because yeah. it's not easy. Yeah. But at the same time, me, I know be food. <laughs> so I had to like, and even how the project like finally rolled out, guy, it wasn't a sweet landing of a plane. I promise you. That's why for me, I, I was like, I will milk this project, project. till it's dead. Because you know what you put in. Bro, you know what it took. Nah, it took everything, yes. everything, everything. It took so much to like, you know when you dig yourself in the hole to create something, it took so long to finally Bring get it. to that point of, okay, we've leveled off to even to a point of, okay, we're at a higher height yeah, from where we dug yeah, ourselves to get. Yeah. You, you understand? Yeah. Like, it took so much to make that trip, to go back to Lagos, like force, drop work, drop everything. God, you know I get picking now. So yeah. it's like, it's not something, I still have to do my, my duties from Lagos. You understand? It's not just, oh, we just go mm-hmm. and forget. No, you still get like responsibility. So, Bro, it was not easy at all. So, like, when that project finally came, ah, Passion and Palava, any way you want to take that title. It's like, for me, that was my experience for Lagos. Like, wow, still dealing with love. And it's like, how do we pull in love to these emotions? Because at the end of the day, for me at that time, I'm like, this is where I I want. I'm in a space where love is is what I want. It's what I'm looking for. I'm dealing with what I'm fighting. Like, going on and off between relationships, all those kind of emotions, wow, being in a new space while being an outsider, it's like, bro, so you're pulling all these real life experiences, emotions, like into a body of work that you've now invested everything in. Bro, this is my baby. <laughs> we are going to push this die. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> we passed the anniversary and we are still pushing. We still do all, everything, every show where they talk. Yeah. I don't perform those songs. The only one difference in our enjoyment. I don't perform those songs all the way, th- bro. I st- if I go do show Still today, day. I will perform Still those perform songs those now. Songs. Yeah, because like everyone has a different favorite of that song. My objective, my main objective, in not only just sharpening my sound, was give something for everybody. I didn't think there was too many songs that sounded alike in Everything that project. Was just- it seemed it, it still found its way through. Yeah, but there were different records from one night to go drop world, then you want to do everybody crazy, you come do palm. Like it's just different vibes to magic, just different energy. So it was just like, bro, I have something for you. I have something for you. I'm the one stop shop. I get everything for everybody. Just wait for your time. Yeah, just wait now. <laughs> <laughs> now the next body you of go work. Call, you go call to. bro. This next body of work, you know, be like the rest of them. Yeah. This one is going to be different. This one, like, I'm pouring out, like, my who I am, Ugo, off the mic. Yeah. Without the change, without the, like, Ugo to the core. Ugo to the core. Pouring into this music. Mm. And the way things are happening in life, I'm just like, guy, we are putting it in this music. Music. If you listen, it's not just baby. Baby. Nah, that one, nah. don't enter that project. Go enter that project. Yeah. Of course, now. Yeah. That one, they sweet. <laughs> but we have things to talk about in that project. Realness, rawness. Rawness. Remember that word, raw. Yeah, now very, very raw. So it will be sweet though. It will, it will sound very sweet. But what you are listening to, I go push like it's like that one. Like I've, 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 I've reached my elements. Like I'm not at my peak, no. But I'm, I'm, in, I'm in my gear. Like bro, I'm <laughs> guy. Ugo is going. Now. What did I want to tell you? Bro, Ugo is going Ugo is now. Going. So, like, that's this project. Bro, I can't wait to drop this project. But for now, we're going to enjoy it. Momo just enjoy, enjoy, enjoy it. Enjoy it. Yep, yep, yep. I respect that, yeah, man. man. I respect that. Yeah. Well, like, one thing I like about, like, admire about you is you're flexible. Mm-hmm. Even, though if, if, even though you get Pekin and family, you get, right, like, they call you me, go to Toronto, you, mm-hmm. you move. Mm-hmm. You know, you they go Niger back and forth, they, they promote the music and all yeah. that. Like, question I 
how you carry, like how you handling all this, you understand, right? Mm -hmm. Family, career, work, and all that. Like how, how do you manage it that you can still, you're going to Toronto. Like I know people that won't be able to go to that Toronto, even if it's a big change because mm -hmm. so much responsibility they grant. Yeah. You get right, like how do you carry handle them? God, 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 not my strength, mm -hmm. honestly. But like, it's not easy, bro. It's not easy. If anyone knows me, they go tell you like Ugo can be stubborn at times. <laughs> <laughs> Ugo say go. he won't do um, go he do um. um, he go do um. But I have a big heart, so that's the thing now. So as much as like I have that guy, I'm doing this. I know what I'm doing is not just going to benefit me. Yeah. Sometimes it looks like that at the front door, and for those that don't understand the vision, will be like. <sighs> But those that understand are the ones you see. Mm. Because at the end of the day, I can't take every blessing. It has to sprinkle outwards. You get, but in those moments, being able to do that now it's family structure and support. Like I can't I can't sit here and say, Yeah, I got it all. Oh on the control. It's me. No, oh. it's not all me. Or, uh, oh. It's not it's not me. Like so even with my dad, that one is not always easy. So it's like it's it's not always <laughs> people look at it and they see what the output of everything going smooth at the end of the day because if I put out that I'm, I'm struggling, God, I need help with this or there's this problem at the house or these things, like, it's just going to be just for the internet. Who am I? Like, now my own problem. Everybody face their, face their walk. Like, bro, there'll you know, be evidence if you talk, say you don't try. <laughs> Imagine, I, guy, you do music, but all these all these things that life will always bring. Yeah. All these all these artists that I listen to, they're all fathers now. They're all family men now. Facts. You understand? But then they stop them. <laughs> Whether it's if you do Whiskey, mm -hmm. Carl Banks, mm -hmm. Young Thug, Future, all these guys now, now Papa be that now. Imagine you're picking the yes. Your father will your pa your papa they do musical but in stop. Because of them but like, or because of something you in stop, you understand, like, bro. right? <laughs> Your part was supposed to be here, but stop. Yeah, bro, and I, I won't <laughs> lie to you. Yeah. Right? Before now that I like my like when I told you my music career really started twenty seventeen, even though my interest started way back since yeah. I was my son's age. Yeah. I was doing basketball. Like, I came in doing football, but I'm like, mm, I won't be I won't be Michael Jordan, I won't be Kobe Bryant, I won't be yeah. those kind of guys. So I was playing basketball from like up until like my first year in university. That's when I stopped. At that point in life, was, I was doing all kinds of different things to to make myself feel comfortable and live a lifestyle that I wanted to, <laughs> to live, to be honest with you. But prior to that, like basketball was this passion, this vim that I have for, for my music. Okay. Now basketball be, see, see when you see me in the lights, when it's showtime, bro, it's, it's, it's showtime, it's game time. It's game time. I, I, I approach these shows with like the same energy. the same practice that basketball. when you have a basketball game you know you have a, a scouting report on your opponent. Yeah. You have a playbook as to what's in what's the strategy, how are we going to win this game? Everything is laid out. You practice, you do your drills, you come shop. So when you come to the game, okay, you just run what we've been running all week. So when it's coming for these shows, if I know a week ahead of time, sometimes they call you tomorrow, guy, if you show up, it's all right, no, no, I like, still go do. Yeah. But if you give me time, if I have even, you know, I will bring my people together, guy, go run out, run these songs now. How How is my voice sounding? Okay, go, let's go to this studio. We go do dance, we dance in front of the mirror just to vibe. We don't even get much choreography yeah, yet, yeah. but we still practices even if we can't get into a studio god they my house anyone won't laugh okay <laughs> the same way i do this for my house i don't do out twenty thousand. so it's like preparation bro that's that's just like bro we pre we, we approach this like it's like you said like it will be the last one mm. I, th I expect a very, very long career, but I, I approach every show as if, guy, if you fuck up this one, no. <laughs> <laughs> they they call you again, they will cast you. <laughs> they will cast you. They will cast you because I know just as much people that enjoy what I do yeah. as people that are not happy for They're me. Happy for and, I will, <laughs> and I will talk about that in the project. Yeah. You will hear about those people. The, the next one where they come. The next one where they come. <laughs> I will talk about the ones that are doing well. We thank God for my my champions, the outsiders, everyone that did for me. But yes. there's people that that don't like to see <clears throat> what we are doing. So we have to 
We have to succeed. We I have to you. put it in their face. I feel you. And make them feel that pain. I feel you, man. So, project coming up soon. Yeah, no. But it's something I've noticed, man. Mm-hmm. You have relationship with a lot of, a lot of names, mm-hmm. big names. Yeah. I remember you told me you you oh, the, the first time we met that you were even in contact with David Doe's manager. Mm-hmm. Just now, a few minutes ago, you, you said how you you have relationship with Chey Vibes. That's family now. Family, yeah. Honestly, like, like even enjoyment, we don't enter the same house. So the same way you don't hear till kingdom come. Yeah. You don't that one leaves the house before it goes out. Yeah. My enjoyment enter that same house to go out. Are you serious? The same house now. My question is, how do you build this relationship? Because I think that, that relationship they help you a lot. Mm-hmm. You get right. The relationship you don't build the people. No be fun. Some kind of place where you enter, no be fun money or something. Mm-hmm. You just that relationship. Yeah. And I believe in that part of relationship too. Yeah. So like how you carry the build relationship with these people? I invest in people. How do you invest in people? Like you have to it's almost the same approach with basketball with scouting report. You have to understand what you're dealing with. You walk into a room and you know what you are there for. Mm. You have to have an idea of who may be able to be able to do that for you. But that's only half the job. What are you doing here? Who are you? What value do you bring? There has to be some sort of trade-off. If, it show, if an artist is coming to my city and I say I want to work with him, may I go do something for him? May I go create business for him? Where well, they make sense? Because it's not just, hi, I do music, I produce. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I want to, they're not, well, okay. 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 How, many, how, many, how, how many people have they, mm. that mm. get talent? Gone, gone, but they they know if you give them a chance because it may not be the right packaging. It may not be, for whatever reason. How many yeah. people now? So what do you want to bring to the table? Everybody is different. What's in they want need? You get. But I will say one small thing now. Like when Rema came, twenty twenty two, you get me. Yeah, I get relationship like with his DJ now. Like because being in Lagos, that's another thing. I went to Nigeria mm. at at a time where I'm pushing my agenda. So it's like, bro, we have to. Connect with these people. You see these people the same way that if you go to Icon, if you go to Venue, you see the same twenty fifty. Now scale that a hundred times upwards in Lagos because in the same spaces you will see the same people, people, but the differences they matter. With all due respect, with all due respect. But for the agenda that we are pushing for to get you to where you are trying to go, the people that you want to hear your music, Davido's team, Cardo Banks team, Bella's team. CK's team, everyone's team, everyone day for Lagos, everyone where you want, guy, where I want to go get food, I want to get chow, I did come out, one they day jump. cold, they brush my shoulder to go get food, can you imagine, <laughs> we won't go, like bro, I didn't even realize who it was, I'm like, ah, 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 ah. That's what it small, you like, bro, like this is Lagos, you get so like, but being in that space, you have to have like, purpose, you can't just be in people's face like, just happy to be there, because they'll either use you or push you aside, if you don't have anything, to bring to the table with all due respect that you won't last in that room for long so it's just like finding relationships where it, it, it makes sense but sometimes the thing is with that now finding genuine relationships can be difficult because if you have that agenda business minded like way of trying to connect it's with change. people that's how they will approach yeah, you approach and you. it will be yeah. left just there so now it's like okay yes we have that agenda that's only what we're there for but you know you're not going to make anyone feel comfortable to, because what if the business doesn't work? So at that point, so it's like, no connect, no relationship. No, connect, no relationship, but it's not always about the business in that moment of what you're asking for in that moment. Sometimes it'll be for next time. Mm. Sometimes they might need you. Mm. The way life works, this ecosystem of life, it's okay to be used. Because you said you go use person. You go use person. Mm. You go use person now. Oh boy. But you have to be, you have to, you have to bring something, mm. you have to bring something to the table just for life to continue to cycle once you start bringing something to the table, then you don't fuck up the motion of things now. Yeah. Just the same way you're, I'm coming to ask, Baba, please, may I get chance? I have to give something to get chance. chance. I might have to give four to get one. Mm. But you have to but have still. that, you have to, you have to have that like mindset where it's like you, you're you paying your dues in one way or another. There's been times I've gone to people with a bottle like, ah, Baba, what's going to happen? I'll deal with you now. I'll go, I'll follow you. Don't try. What's this up now? That's how you ask That's for a favor. Ask for a favor. It's not come out of the work with nothing. You get me? That bottle is just an example. That's just, uh, Glenn Phillips now for Nigeria. That yeah. one, that big one. Uh, uh, 
22 year Glenford that you know now for Lagos. Yes, that sir. one is, that was, ah, okay, don't try. Wait to happen now. At that point, you have to be specific with what you want. It's not, Baba, I want blue. Put me on. <laughs> bro. Don't be like that. No. Mm-hmm. Be spe- you have to, intention, bro. It's intention. That's really what it is. It's intention. I'm not here to screw anyone over. I'm here with my agenda moving forward, right? On that way, I will meet people. And it will be a time where it's like, ah, that person may be of help to me. But it may be me for them first. But if you don't open yourself up to even get that chance. To be used, like you said. You, you understand? Know? Shout out my bro, Daniel. Today's his birthday, actually, bro. Shout out my guy, Daniel. He works for The Plug, which is... Happy birthday, Daniel. You get me? Shout out my G. Special day. Yeah, bro. So, like, someone like him where it's like, the relationship that was built where it's like, okay, you have someone that's that day with you now that if you're not in a space, there's someone like that might, because the way security works, they might let one guy that you're walking with and the second he steps, hmm, they block you. It's happened to me many times. <laughs> like, yeah. ah. So like, but you need someone that's going, that's being able to get through, that, that wants to see you win. But you have to be able to do something for them now. That's just the ecosystem of life. Facts. But if you're looking in a way where you're just trying to take, 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 take. guy, sooner or later you go cast, mm. you know. But there's people that give a lot that that don't do enough for themselves. They don't eventually their their cup runs empty because they're just doing, doing, doing. And it's without not about a purpose. Or without something. a purpose, you get. And sometimes uh, the purpose is to help people, but you're not even understanding that if you don't have anything to give to yourself, what can you give to the next person? So there's a f- very like fine line between like understanding that and being selfish sometimes and from a distance it can look like the same thing yeah so life becomes difficult now because you have people that you may have the best interest at heart towards helping they don't see what you're doing and how it may help them or what you've put around to help them and it gets this thing where it's like ah ego ah you know so people talk about this with music when they start getting to high heights it's real bro it's real People start changing. It's not even you acting different guy. You're sharp on your mission. You're disciplined. You're sharp. That to them might be different because they're like, ah. But it's not you now. Most times, it's not you. It's just how do you handle it now? So, yeah, God is my strength. Oh my, they rub my body with anointing oil. <laughs> Every day. And they wash with seraphine sand. Ah, like, bro, you're laughing. Before I did come for this place, I don't rub my body. God God is my strength because it's not easy, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's not easy. Yeah. What do you study for school, I beg? It's not like you study business. You study business. (laughs) Managerial economics. I see, like, honestly, the knowledge knowledge you just put here, you get, right? Like, these few seconds talking Mm -hmm. about... Uh, what you bring to the table and all that. I just, I just feel like this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, that business. You know, use your degree out to your music, God, dude. I have to, I have to. Now. That's the only way my parents go, just chill. Yeah. You know the narrative that uh, if you're not doing you business, know, you're not yeah, doing yeah. this, you're you're not, you're not, but it's like, how do you now pull it into what you are doing yeah. and make it where they believe? That took some time. No matter how good you are, again, you're doing this show, you're doing that show, oh, nice one. It took time. It took time sure. before. Like, they always support it. The thing was, whatever you do, just be the best. They don't, my, my parents, they didn't really push me one way or another. They would suggest things, but whatever you're doing, just be the best, right? So my dad, like, with him now, like, they both support it. So as I'm saying this, mom. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. <laughs> just hear me now. But, like, my dad would be with me at the studios, like, when I would be, like, sometimes when I was in Nigeria. Not yeah. this time, but, like, Maybe 2021 took me like we ah it was 2018 it was deep actually that was early early times but it was there like you get like involved and you know my mom still supporting her way yeah. I think my parents they had their roles of how they supported us you get so um, yeah man it wasn't easy at all but we thank God and I always had them like kind of keeping that in mind like bro it has to make sense mm. whatever you're doing has to make it has sense to make sense. If you want, like, you want to paint, you want to do anything, you want to do yoga, just as long as it's paying the bills and you're creating something that, like, can last for the next one, yeah. you know, okay, oh, yeah, now. But, one. like, music, you know now this up-and-coming, I don't like that word I don't all the like time that because word. it's I know, like, I, know, I, know. I don't think it fits me anymore. If I'm still, general, like, I feel like it doesn't fit anybody that can pay yeah. for a studio session to do a music. 
Well, it cost. I mean, it's still up and coming. You still have to pay your dues. Yeah. You know, but like I think at some point, you know, you start crossing thresholds where it's like there's levels to it. I remember there was a point in time where I would like pay large amounts to do shows. Do shows, yeah. You know, to get on shows for what, five minutes, ten minutes? At the beginning of the show, this is early on, early on though, you yeah. know, but the, you pay your dues eventually. You put your foot down, like, bro, I'm not doing this anymore. Bro, I'm not selling these respect tickets. Respect my name, bro. Respect, respect me, unless respect it's my show. I'm not yeah, trying yeah. to hear you say sell tickets, bro. Come on. I have. I, how about I do you something better? How about I, I, I lock you in with, with the, you know, whether it's a show or, or after. Like, let me do. I have those connections where I could tie you in with someone that can make yeah, you some money. Let's, yeah. How about that rather than. Yeah, then. Because I'm. That, with all due respect, you know, but you have you. to work to get to that to point. To that point, yeah. You have to show, you have to have evidence to show where it's Your like, workman skills, your workmanship has to be good too. Bro, workman top notch. Has to be good. All the time. It can't just be one time. Mm-hmm. You get, like, I've, I've had moments, like, for a while now where it's like, wow, this is crazy. But I won't say people forget, but there's always the next show. There's always going to be more. So yeah. you can't just, you can't just be like, oh, yeah, one good show. And it's like, okay. The next one, the energy may not be, but yeah, that one good, good show. show. Okay, what's <laughs> what you go do? Now? Yeah, now you go, you go like fund your life. You go, be, you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just saying I love like used to be is don't make make on easy. Understand, mm-hmm. right? You don't want to say I used to be this. I used yeah. to be. Who cares, man? Guy, Bro, don't, what's, you know? what's going on today? <laughs> now? What's going on today? That's bro. just that's how I've been pushing, pushing, pushing. Like even with again the the gap between my releases from last year to this year, like. Motion, bro, motion. It's where they fit on that stand. Like, ah, right, this guy is not just sitting hiding. Or maybe he doesn't do music again. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> we, did. we did. We did. <laughs> we did. Here. We did. Here, guys. But it's just timing. Timing. It's just timing. So at this point now, now that the floodgates is open, guy, you will hear me. You will hear me. You. Uh, the time is. The time is here. Yeah. The time is here. Yeah. You know what's it like? I've heard a lot of artists. I know you don't like up and coming, but you know, not referring to you, but like people say, Oh, I don't climb Davido last year, so I don't want to climb Davido this year, you understand, <laughs> right? I opened for Davido last year, I don't want I don't want to open for Davido again. I, I don't do open, you understand, so, right? right? But like the question is, do you ever get to that <clears throat> point? Because you like you talked about opening for like on Malay, CK, Be- you name it, you understand, mm-hmm. Nigeria here, mm-hmm. you understand, right? Mm-hmm. But like Question is, do you ever get to that point? You're like, guy, I'm nowhere. I, I don't tire to open for this person. The thing is, I I think I find a balance with shows. It's not every single show, single show. where I go and start to come do the show. Yeah, you know, in that run where it's like doing the opening set. Yeah, like five minutes. You, get, you know, like it has to. I mean, but the thing is now, like, if it's put, if it's set up in a way. Where it's like I'm not opening for these guys. I'm I'm a headlining act with. I'm not okay. opening for them. I'm with these guys. Yeah. You know every there's levels. You know so it's not like right away it will happen like that. But there's steps. At some point there will be a point where it's like okay I've not only done my work but it's like okay now you you're having your own three thousand capacity shows in multiple cities where it's like. Now, when you come in to do these shows with other people, like you're you're a special guest, you yeah. know, there'll be a, like we're getting to that, we're getting to that point. But I still appreciate every opportunity, though. That's the thing. That's the thing. You know, when they call me to come do these shows, I still appreciate it. A lot of these artists that they ask me to do these shows, I I, I really do enjoy their music. You know, so after after performing at the David you see enjoy the music. Yeah, I will sit there like like a fan, yeah. just like right, just <laughs> enjoy it. Me, dude, bro, bro, streaming everything back. So it's like. You know, so I still, as much as I am a creator of the music, I still enjoy it, you know. And there will be a point, again, where it's, like, past this tier of it being an opening act. Because for yeah. me now, like, even when we're doing these shows, I know if it at that stage, like, first, 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 first you go yeah. push me, like, push me, like yeah. put me before the... Do you negotiate that with the promoters? Like, do you tell them what you, you know? Yeah, or? shout out to my management. They management. handled that one. Yeah, they yeah. handled that one. But they know now. They, they themselves, they, they want to see... They, yes, now. They want, like, <laughs> that DVD show, we thank God, though. Shout out to the management. I'll just say that one. Because it could have went and and either which way, but, like, you know, but... Yeah, I I believe in my team. I thank God for them. It makes me stronger. It makes my agenda a lot easier to to be carried out because I don't have to do everything. I don't have to be the superstar and the and the, and the you know the manager that wants to shout like I don't have to do both. Yeah. 
Oh boy, I know. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. I know where you're coming from. I know what you're talking about, and that's yeah. something I want us to even like throw some light on. You know, the mm-hmm. power of having a team and a manage yeah. and a management. You understand, right? Like, how did you, how did you get your management, and how has that helped you? Um, the thing is with these people, they've they've. It's not just about the music. A lot, but them, the, my managers, my manager. Shout out my manager, Bintu. You get Bintu. She's my manager, but for the label. Now I'm chief, now I'm president for the label. Now, now my label be that, but I assign him to be president. Chief, chief, chief. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll see him, big guy. Now you'll see him for Boston here. Yeah, Where? yeah. Big guy now, my mm-hmm. muscle guy. Guy, you'll see. I'll show you. Okay. I'll show you videos. Okay, right? okay. But he's the president, so he also helps with the management, right? Yeah. Malik, my guy, my business partner. That one day, long time. So it's like even when I was rapping, he was okay. with me. So they all. Play a role in one way or another. Though my manager, my head manager, not been to be that one, but yeah. that that story, how that one connected, it was like I did a show for her maybe 2017 when I was rapping. She was one of the first people that booked me to do like call show, to pay all that good stuff. So I was, you know, I was feeling good, you know. From that point, we stayed in contact, but we weren't that close. We stayed in contact, so maybe it was last year. There was a point in time where we bumped into each other, and I was like. I wanted to put her in the music, and and one night I felt like she was the perfect, perfect person for like that role that I wanted, you know, her playing. One night, yeah, yeah. So she did a great job. We stayed in touch, and then I just started noticing like her ability to put pieces together. Like she was like really good at like navigating her way through spaces and being able to okay, we trying to get this done. Boom, no problem. All right, bet this is all right. We need this. Let me call this person. Like it. She before she even realized she was like a great manager, like she was already already doing at least for music per se because yeah. she she has a you know management marketing background. Mm. She went to school for those things, so it's yeah. like she's educated. It's not like she's completely new. New maybe to like doing the it music. for music, yeah. but like no, she knew what she was doing marketing, um, sales, marketing, all that. that. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's a plus, it. man. Yeah, a manager with that kind of skills, yeah. plus, uh, yeah. plus, yeah. And the biggest thing, the two biggest things, one is like. She wholeheartedly believes in me. Mm. She makes it easier. Where sometimes, like, you might have a manager that might have second doubts. doubts. He likes your sound. Like, uh, you're okay, I guess. In the back of the head, they might not think that, think that you. So they might not. You're go what as the hard prize or you're what the? You hear me? Yeah, yeah. So they might start pressing more for their money up front. Yo, bro, I'm doing this. You know, so she believes in me. She sees the superstar that I see yeah, in myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like with her. We, there's managers that could be about money. Yeah. Like, and only about that, where it's like, it's business. You can't be mad at people, but it's like, nah, it's not only about that. Like, you know, like, give it to me later, you know? So it's like, with that, it forces me to work harder. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Whether she knows what she's doing or not when she does shit like that, but it makes me like, bro, we have to, like, what? Like this, so next time I talk to her, I have I have my content ready, I have this ready. Even for today, I'm like, yo, I'm doing this. Tomorrow I'm going to New York to do this. We're doing this. Like now I'm like almost like a little kid that's in class that wants to get that 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 note. The, look, 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 I got So I'm going, <laughs> bro, she got you know, so but like that type of motivation you need, bro. Yeah, yeah. You need that, you know. So someone that's I, already on the move with you, yeah, so you don't want to slow them down. No, man. I don't want to slow them down. No. But, but it was like when when we decided to do this, like she was she didn't she wasn't as convinced to be like music manager. She didn't think that she was fit. I'm like, Bentu, I'm telling you, like, you could do this. Could you know, this, this yeah. step by step, we're going to, we'll figure it out together. Oh, yeah. You get, so that's, that was last year. And like, and, um, bro, it's, it's, it's Phil Jackson and Michael Jordan. Like, bro, like, she's, <laughs> she's the GOAT, bro. Like, bro, she's the truth, for sure. I yeah. love that, man. Yeah. I love that. Love that. Yeah. Shout out to you, your management. So, what's the name of your label? Flourish forever. Group. Flourish forever. Oh, yeah. I don't see that before. Flourish Let's forever. See. Group. I, 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 even that um, glitch Africa or something. Mm-hmm. The beginning of that video, flourish forever. And I was just mm-hmm. wondering, what was that flourish forever? Yeah, yeah. No, flourish forever. So funny enough, um, flourish that that concept, that yeah. branding, that you know that we stand today with, has been since the rap, the rap, the rap era of my career. Like my first rap album was called Flourish. You know, so. The idea with that, the whole point of that, and how it tied into now, we're doing it Afro, how we moved into it to being, okay, it's myself, Uche Malik. Uche Malik's been there since I was rapping. Yeah. Shout out Uche Malik, that's my guy. You know, so 
we wanted to create our own ecosystem. You get me? Where as an artist, you need a team. You need, you can't do it by yourself. So we wanted to create that structure, you know, for ourselves, and then work outwards. You know, um, so the idea with flourish and the brand behind flourish is that if you could imagine how uh, like plants grow, right? Think about how they grow. Yeah. Pour water into flourishing. So on this earth, and this, and in order to to move in a way that things are uphill. In any capacity, you have to pour pure energy into it. So with our music now, and the auras that you see when I'm sitting here with you, or when you see us at a club, or you see us at these shows, or you see me on stage with the hype man. Yeah. The hype man, the big, bro, you know. Oh, guy, yeah. Not the one with the hair like me. The oh. one, that's O.T. Bray. Shout out O.T. Bray. But, like, it's, it's, it's about bringing that energy, right? Pouring into the ecosystem in a way that's like, it's making it stronger. Yeah. It's growing. Yeah. So with our music, with our energy, we want to create that vibe. Like obviously, with the music, it's not just kumbaya. It's, but we're making high quality music, the best music that whatever emotion that you're going through, I bet you we got something for that. We mm-hmm. we probably do at Flourish Forever Group for sure. Mm-hmm. So we're pouring that pure energy because it's coming from real life experiences. Everything is authentic on this side of town. So it's like. We want to be that. We want to be the ones that's pouring water into a plant to see it grow. Uh-huh. We're pouring into this ecosystem that we day here show. Like that's for next year. Now when we do our show again, it's gonna be bigger. bigger yeah. Somebody else that's watching, they're gonna want to do their own show. Now yeah. things are growing. That type of impact. Yeah. You get me? And it's not just about music. I keep saying this: we're an ecosystem. It's not just about music, bro. Like it's it, life is deep. But it like thank it's God for bigger music. Than Afro. It's bigger yeah. than rap. Yeah, it's bigger than rap, bro. Even <laughs> Afrobeat self is like international. You know, yeah, you connect with people from India because of baby come, come down. down. Like that's crazy. <laughs> Where we have nothing to connect with before, but because that song's Sound like, yeah. you know. So when you now have the power to pull these people together, I'm not here to, to do propaganda. I'm not here to start a war no by having the attention of these people i'm here to leave an impact on this earth yeah, we're exactly. only here for so long i don't know you get me but while i'm here you want to get i have a lot to get done you get i have so much that i want to get done and the music is just a way to pull the attention to do those type of things makes sense yeah makes sense yeah well it's deep too so in every man's life in every career you know we all get to that point where we kind of like want to want to give up you understand right we doubt ourselves uh, we don't think we're good enough you know i was thinking about how to throw that question at you and then i saw a post you made on instagram mm-hmm. and um this is what you said you said um thank god say i no give up them folks whine me like satan whine jesus <laughs> no it's not true <laughs> i swear that's that time be that one that's that time be that one that was from um uh, I know it won't be that guy. That was, like that time, it's actually my twin. We have the same exact birthday. Uh. That's another story for another day. Same exact birthday, same year. Him, he gets some born in March, same year. Which day was March? No, I don't know what day his own. My oh. own picking now, March thirteenth. Okay. Yeah, 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 but his son is born in March twenty twenty. My own twenty twenty. Like that's my twin. It just yeah. be your boy. Me, I be boy, boy. So, but with that line, bro, that thing where it's like, bro. People can get into your head with doubts. You have to be careful who you are telling your dreams, your goals, things you are working on, things that haven't been confirmed, confirmed yet. yet. Some people yeah. will just kill them immediately. You understand? You. Because it could, it could be for many different reasons. They might not like you. Mm-hmm. They might not. They, they may be envious of Love you. you. Yeah. It, sometimes it's, it could be innocent. It couldn't even, sometimes it's not even sometimes about that. Sometimes like, they over like you that they're trying to protect you. You understand? Bro, mm, they think they're protecting, protecting you. They don't want to see you hurt, hurt or fail. Or, yeah, they, they, like, yeah. you know, or even themselves. It's too big of an idea for them to even imagine them being capable. Yes. It's too big. Like, what do you... No, bro, just calm down. Like, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Yeah. And for me, it's like... I. Part of this alienation where I did on my own from everybody is because of that thing where it's like I could be stubborn and and crazy until everybody understands. Ah, so when they do a moment, ah, I stand with you, good. They thought it makes sense. Sorry, 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 sorry. You get it. so, like, bro. It's like 
it's not it's not even an easy thing at all. Like, bro, you have to be obsessed with whatever you're doing to get through those moments. Cause I'm human, bro. I know be God. So like to be like say from January one to December that he won, there's not a moment where I had doubts. There's not a moment where I'd be like, say, ah, what's going to happen? Even as small as it could be, because nowadays, there's there's no room for that. There's things are moving too fast too where fast, you just yeah. have to just Sit down do it. Yeah. You have to just do it. There's not even a chance to be like, bro, because you'll miss your chance. Mm. If, if you think. Bro, think about it now. With that, that Toronto show was two days after Boston. Boston. If I had thought to myself, bro, let me just think. I don't know if I Bro, we wouldn't have anything to be talking about talking here about, in regards yeah. to you get like so even if they said no, you would never know until you ask. ask. But if you just gingerly just like you it's the same answer as no, it's the same thing now. Oh yep. It's the same thing if you never try. Never try, yeah. So it's like as things keep pulling you back, oh budget's tight, oh this happened, oh this show no one do I'm, oh things happen where it'll be like the devil will be like say Told you you're not that guy. You won't want you yeah, like Jesus. <laughs> I tried to tell you, you're not him. You're now. not him. Like, just calm that's down. Just go sit. You are a supper day like this. Just go and sit. <laughs> your music is not like it will enter <laughs> your <laughs> and you like, bro. For some people, they can't. They can't. They can't win that fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd be warrior for that fight. You no know, go with me with that one. Ah, <laughs> guy. As I they look for mirror, I they see superstar like mega. Like even on my what's there where I they open for, I'm like, oh, I only get twenty likes. No problem. Shout out to Tony that seen that. That's Tony that seen you know, that. So it's one. like, like, bro. But it's like you have to have that in your head before even thinking you will agree with. Oh, the Ugo that you see is Ugo. Like if if I don't see that, you won't see it. Mm-hmm. If I don't see him, you no go see him at all. You no go. Make, you no come outside. No, no. So it's like, <clears throat> excuse me, bro. You have to win that psychological warfare. Warfare. The psychological warfare, the spiritual warfare, bro, is deep. <laughs> you know this. I know this. Yeah. I know you know this. Man. <laughs> I am it's deep, bro. Man. It's deep. Hundred percent, man. It's deep. 100%. So it's like you have to be what they say, fortified. It's bro. This is as much as we make baby rock. And, it's it's deep, bro. There's wars that one. To celebrate, to celebrate this journey, yeah. There are wars that are won behind <laughs> closed quarters. You never, you no go see them, like, bro. It's not easy, bro. Guy, as as we did in Lagos for this election period, no lights, no no fuel for your gen. People they track. There's no cash. Say where you want go in that market. No go do transfer. What thing we won't do transfer? Where I go do with my tra- like, bro. No so Apple now, pay. so no Apple Pay. So imagine now you're going through that, and your things are not even easy on your own side, side. to just be comfortable in your corner, mm, your little corner, your own corner. You're not even so. It's like, bro, now you're dealing with this, bro. How far will go when you go drop? Ah, all these like, bro. It's like, what the fuck. There's not even light in my building for me to look in the mirror and be like, say, Ugo, how far? Ugo, how far with your own where self? Where are the cell phone lights? Yeah. Thank God for the lights in this room, bro. I'm using my cell phone lights to do beats in the dark. I have 30 minutes to do the beat because we don't get power to charge the it's system. Phone, phone go die or laptop go Lapt- die. Laptop go die now. So it's like, bro, like these things, these mental wars where it's like, bro, we wake up tomorrow hoping they will bring lights to so use AC. Go bring them. Go manage them. Somebody is saying, guy, why don't you just come back to America? Guy, I know what I'm doing in, in Lagos. Yeah, I tell you. This thing where you they ask me, guy, how you get? Sh- guy, I know what I'm doing in Lagos. I know why they suffer for Lagos. It's not because I want anything to prove to anybody. I know what I'm there for. Mm. It's not to prove to anybody, guy. I be. To- <laughs> I like the soft life. You see how I'm dressed. I dressed. like. To yep, be- yep, yep. I'm yep, not someone that likes to. But once but in a while, you man. have to. Bro, it's not easy, bro. <laughs> it's not easy. But at the end of the day, I pay my dues. To move the way I move, to talk yeah. the way I talk, to just be the way I am like this. Like I pay my dues, bro. So anyway, any person when no go like um, <laughs> I will go make you suffer for this <laughs> lifetime, bro. You go, you go suffer for this lifetime. Cause I know what I put in to get to this point. We're still going, bro. Yeah, man. I love it, man. I love it. Like so many realistic things here, man. Like you know how they say, you know, um, diamonds are made under pressure, you get right? And like when you talk about those moments, you've been in Nigeria, no light and no, 
we need those pressures to make us, you understand? Like sometimes they are man-made pressures too, mm-hmm. you get right? Mm-hmm. And they are the ones that life will give to us. But if you come to this America, man, like life soft for here, man. Yeah. But upon the way it's soft, music still no loud. Like, yeah. you see guys go Nigeria, go make the yeah. music, man. Because the thing is, even if you want to stay a Yankee, Yankee, you have to create the relationships, whereas your reach go reach Niger. Niger. Can be big star for Yankee. What's gonna happen for Lagos now? You know, go no person where you know enter Lagos. Now we be that, bro. You go enter stage, they go <laughs> go young phone like this. Not not with their lights. Yeah. Not that's li- Nigeria when you're performing is one or the other. They are there with their lights going mad, mad. or they are in their phone or they are in their phone. So if you know, make your presence known for. Maybe for TikTok. Because the thing is, they sometimes they do, they enjoy, actually, bro, they actually enjoy Yankee music, but like Yankee, Yankee music, not Yankee Afro, Afro beats. Beat. Yeah. For Legos, they go jam 21 Savage, they go jam Lil Dirk, they go jam uh, Juice World, they go jam The Weeknd, mm. Travis Scott. Mm, but no be Ninja. They no go, I know here, yeah, I know here, yeah, like, like people for Legos jam. <laughs> Guys, where like they, for yeah, young people, where they do, yeah, where they, they try for try for nah. It's not even about mm-hmm. disrespect. Many mm-hmm. this, this the thing is, there are some that have entered the conversation. Yeah, yeah there yeah. are some, there are some guys, but like for the rest of everyone, you never know your song, man. Bro, even even me, so I still had to like make my presence felt in Lagos. That took time. That took being in these spaces, spaces. being able to like you yeah. have to, you have to. Have these shows where they know Sabi your music and you're pushing through your set, like almost waiting for that five minutes, that ten minutes to run up because they know. Because sometimes it feels like that though, yeah. but other times you might not even act like it's like that. You might just be jamming, going crazy as if they're jamming with you, with and you. that's usually the better way to go. Yeah. But as human people, some like bro, I feed off energy. If you know Sabi, what I want, mm, you got, then, oh yeah, cut the music now. The music but you have to finish the set. You yeah. have to. You have to. You have to. You have to. So you push through those moments to build. You have to put in, your, bro, guy. Like it wasn't just oh, let's enter Lagos. We go chill for. Hotel. Chill for guy, nah. I get my own apartments yeah. for Lagos. Like I did, like did for street for Lagos. So it's like, bro, you have to, like, be known. People have to know. You have to have some sort of like repertoire with these people. Like, unless it's like you're pumping money into TikTok, into TikTok or TikTok. pumping money into these radio stations, and yeah. even at that, that's not a guarantee. guarantee yeah, you have to like. The same way, like, you see me, you can see how I move, and you, okay, so someone says something about Ugo, like, I know this guy, I see, no, no, now one Jack got a correct guy. Like, you have to be relatable. For me, I'm, I'm a personable person. I don't like doing the text, email, you want to talk to me, I tell my G's degrees of separation, bro. If you have something very important to talk to me about, no go send out for Snapchat, Snapchat. bro. Call my oh, line. Let's link and talk face to face. You get something where you want to say to me. It's like the further away we are, I no go know what emotion you want to talk when you want to yeah, say. Yeah. So I go, I go, yeah, I'm with my phone like, ah, but it no be anything like that. But we never know. So me, I like personal things. So my music now, I want people to feel yeah, me, yeah. understand me. There's some things I don't want everybody to know. It's not for everybody. That's not... They don't need to know those ones. You still, I'm still a human being. Everybody is allowed to guard something. I don't have to give you everything about me. I will not give everything. 100%, yeah. As humans, we have something. We, we have our safe space. Shit, go good day for that safe space. That's my own business. But there's layers around it that are still close enough where people can still understand who I am without me feeling like they're in my business. They know what's going to happen for my, like... <laughs> I respect that, man. Yeah. Yeah, like, wow. Very, and that's the thing about, like, when I first spoke to you, you get right, like, you know, be like, I felt like I've known you for a long time. The moment, like, the very first day I sat with you was the first mm-hmm. day I spoke to you, but yeah. just with your personality, I just, you'll be like, to me, you don't talk about music or mm-hmm. we only speak for a yeah, long no. period of time, so. It's, bro, like, with people, you, you find ways to connect. Connect. Everybody has a way where you can connect to somebody for one thing or another, like, you know. So, like, again, the way we connected, it just so happened we're connecting on something I love my, with my life. No, 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 I go sure. shout to the moon about this music thing if you allow it. So, <laughs> I love music, too. Yeah. The fun now, Mr. Abide Rap, mm-hmm. you get it, right? Mm-hmm. Kind of like the same same style you, like, rapping was my 
my blo- like rap and love rap. Mm-hmm. Even when I did Nigeria, I listen to Nigeria yeah. music. Yeah. Rap music, I listen to. Even when I come here, I remember back in North Eastern days, I rap, I did rap. Mm-hmm. Uh, Don Black, Sentino Simon, when um, start to sing, then they do Afrobeat. Me, I was rapping. You get right, and I remember going in some of their tracks and still. Singing Afrobeat and they were like, "Guy, just do this Afrobeat, Afrobeat, Afrobeat." Like you go to the Afrobeat, yeah, you understand? Know. But like, I it, it got to I got to a point where I was either going to do music or fitness because I was having this serious love for for fitness too. So I couldn't juggle mm. the both of them. You understand? Right? I'm this guy that if I'm committed, I, I just I can only commit to one thing. I can't do two things at a time. So I chose fitness because I love the lifestyle. You mm-hmm. get right. Music lifestyle is good, but the environment I was in, I, I couldn't do music the way I <clears throat> wanted to do music. Yeah, you get yeah. right, and fitness I could do it the way I wanted to do it. Right. So that's why I chose fitness. But I, I love love <clears throat> music till concurrently. And I have a big the boss my head. Even yeah. rap music, I listen to rap music I again. Still listen to rap. You say you can't listen to. I don't listen to rap music again. Ah. No, I feel yeah, like. I still <laughs> I listen to everything, bro. Exactly. I listen to rap music. I obviously, I listen to my Afro beats. Yep. I have my, I'm my piano days where it's just strictly like Tanzanian, Southie. Yeah, yeah. South, yeah. You know, I, I'll, every so often, I'll, I'll pull back. We're in Boston now, so it's like Caribbean music is still yeah, going yeah, to that yeah, body yeah. So it's like, I, I listen to different kinds of music. It just depends on the day. It might, like, one day I might want to listen to... 2019 was kid. Yeah. Tomorrow I might want to listen to Astro World, Travis Scott, or yeah. Yeah. you know. But the thing is, like, some way somehow they they pull into my music. Yeah, they all yeah. add up to make this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. And and that's why when you said in my this conversation, I told you that you said something now that uh, on your Instagram that um, I was too African for my American fans and I was too Yankee for Niger. So I decided to embrace the fence, yeah. and then uh, you called yourself an outsider. Yeah. When you say that, I kind of realized I felt it too. That was a very mm-hmm. deep, con- like a deep line because calling yourself an outsider and accepting it, you get right. That's a, like outsider and something. If then call someone, it's casted. Of, it's casted. Yeah. You get right. Outcast. Mm-hmm. But you accept them. You swallow at me. Mm-hmm. Don't bring that result yeah. with that. I was like, I was like, this guy, this guy, this guy. Not everybody if you go through that kind of thing survive. Mm-hmm. You get right. Yeah, like I, I was I, even my own, when I was rapping too. Was like you were too Yankee for Nigerian or, or audience. You mm-hmm. get right, and then so it's like trying to get that balance. I couldn't get that balance. You get right. So yeah. It's like I'm done. Right. I leave him. You get right. But mm-hmm. you, you, you did it. We're in a situation where you're in the middle. Yeah. You're giving energy to both worlds. Mm-hmm. First, how did you feel being an outsider? And then how did you, you know, use that to become something? Um, initially, I didn't, I didn't like it. You know, at a young age, before you realize, guy, you just got to stay your lane. Yeah. I, I wanted to make people happy. I wanted to be liked. I wanted to be popular. I wanted to be in the mix, you know. But it's like, guy, you're bringing jollof rice to school. <laughs> you, you, you understand? <laughs> like, in my head, I'm I'm coming to school with that shit. shit. Yeah, I'm coming through with that. <laughs> I got that jello. But they like, you know, I wouldn't even say people really was teasing, like they were picking on me. But it was yeah. just like that wasn't what was cool, so cool at that time. And at a young age, like, you know, being here, you, you're not even thinking about who you are. Yeah, you get me. Like, I come from a very re- well respected family. Mm-hmm. Like, you get me. Like, even the way I'm positioned to be, like. We thank God you get being the only son in, out of five children in a Nigerian household. Like, what's going to happen? Yeah. <laughs> your dad be high chief. Your mom, like, you get doing nursing. So it's like, bro, you're, you're supposed to be doing something, something great good. with your yeah. life. Yeah. So the thing was, like, I can't hide that. I can't hide the support that my mom gave me. I can't hide, like, my dad being my best friend. Yes, yeah, I can't yeah. I can't hide that. But at the same time, it's like people will use it against you and assume that because you have that, that you have all the money to give it. It doesn't always I said I'm one of five. One of five. <laughs> one of five. <laughs> not you one know, of one. Not one of one. One of five. So I had to be, they, like, they only had the one, they didn't hear the five. <laughs> yeah. So like be like, bro, that fence, like again, we being in like in the US, we go to school. We don't really fit in. It's just different. We're different from everybody. Like, we're, we're, we're listening to Osadebe on the way to school. We're there bumping. But even though we listen to everything they listen to, that would be the difference for us. Yeah. You know, things like that. Now, 
we go into Nigerian community and it's like when you have your mind wrapped around being in this Yankee and fitting in with this Yankee, it's like now by nature they're looking at you as ah Yankee boy. I ah, see the way they carry yourself. <laughs> American. I yeah. know. You get me? I know. And you know, they would tease you about it. You know, so you get you get so used to not being really <laughs> fit. welcomed by any you, of you the world at all. Yeah. But not in a way where I don't want people to get it construed. I, w- I wasn't bullied. <laughs> if anything, Mm-mm. God forgive me. I mean, I may have bullied sometimes, <laughs> but I was never like, you know, that. that I don't want people to hear that story the wrong way. Yeah, it's just yeah. not fitting in and feeling like, ah, like, well, I guess we'll just stay right here because like there's ways we don't connect on that side. There's ways we don't connect on this side. But I like both sides though, you know, I like both sides, so it's like there's a way. To go. There's a way I will fit with boy. I keep my foot in here. I keep my, I keep my, <laughs> I keep my head on the other side. You get, it. you get. It. So I will, I will keep my blue passport, yeah. but I did Lagos. <laughs> but I will keep that blue passport. I will yeah. never lose that blue passport. <laughs> then it's, at some point you get the green one too. Oh, I have both now. I have both now. Yeah, now, but it's like. Yeah, bro, that was the only way, like, especially with this music, P, like, yeah, I, I feel like that was my my brand, my identity, who I am. I can't, yeah. like, I'm not here to sell any ticket, anything of something that I'm not. That would take too much yeah. effort, bro. Because think about, I put in a lot of work in being myself. Imagine trying to be, like, someone else. The kind of work where you go put in there. Bro, those breakdowns, those moments where you, like, you feel unconfident, where you start doubting yourself, that's when you will break because you have no business doing it, bro. Yeah. You're faking it and it's not working. And at some point it will click and be like, I'm out. Okay. But this is who I am. So even if it's not working today, I know it's it's destined to work. I know it's supposed to work. Everything will work. Everything's working. It's working. But it takes time. And I'm not anybody but myself. And I love that for me. And I love that for everybody that's seeing the music. Everybody that's that I can speak for. Because I'm not lying. I'm not doing any force anyhow. No. Like, this is who I am. Even when I date Lagos, it's like, bro, understand, like, I may not spend much time in Lagos, like everybody here, but everything where you want to do for person for Lagos, they run out for Yankee. Mm-hmm. So you know, go yam me past any person that does now enter that road for the first time. For the first time, yeah. Like I said, bro, if I won't go get child, me, I go enter that road in the dark, but my, there be no lights. What thing happen? Yeah. I go get my child and come out. It's like, what, what do you want to do? That might have been the Yankee thing where it's like, you, you, <laughs> you're not going to press me, bro. You're not going to get my space. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like yeah. that, But not, not in a confrontational way, but just in a way where you have carved your space in, in a space where you can operate. You do your own pee. Mm. You're not under any kind of pressure, any like, ah, you just, I mean, I like my space. Being the only boy, that was one thing where it's like, there was times where, I'll be alone. I'll be in my room. Oh, I have yeah, my space to yeah. my thoughts, to my creativity, where I'm drawing, or even before music, I, bro, I draw. You get it? like so, artists. That whole idea of being an artist is full fledged for me. Like draw, sculpture, music, painting. Like I, me and my G, we get painting company. Like you get. I mean, I could do this if you want. I, used to I swear it. down. I swear. So it's like, bro, like music is all part of that expression, bro. I, I've been being the, the person I am, where. If I had a brother, it might have been different. Who knows? Yeah. We might have locked in into sports and gone that route. But the idea where I, there's moments where, I, like, I love my sisters to death. You know, me and my sisters are like this. But at a young age, you may not always connect. You guys are playing with dolls. Me, I want to play video games or play with Power Rangers yeah. or something like that. So yeah. those differences, like, bro, I would use that time to, to, to build what we're doing here. I was manifesting music for a long time, even when I was doing sports. Are you serious? Like I wanted to be signed to either Jay-Z yeah. or 50 Cent, one of those two guys. I would always walk around the house as if I'm already signed to them. Mm-hmm. I would have the G-Unit sweater. Sure, yeah. You get our rock wear jeans, like, bro, those kind of things, like, since a young age. But it was, I, was I, I didn't even realize I was manifesting so far past my basketball endeavors. Even as an athlete, I would, like, print, <clears throat> I would print lyrics of like my favorite songs from different artists and like posted on my wall next to the posters. Like the way you have posters of different athletes. Yeah. In between those posters of athletes, I would have lyrics of different songs. Whether it's Nas Ether or J. Cole Bornson. Like it would just be different. Like I was a, like I would study music. I would like like a an like an analytic 
you know, like one of these guys that just they just dissect, dissect music. music. That was yeah. even as an athlete, that was it was weird almost. I wouldn't even be watching ESPN. I'd be on Hot New Hip Hop, seeing who dropped what project, what's going on with this label. What's why? Why are you so? What's up happen? You know, go and work on your jump shot. Jump shot. <laughs> <laughs> you need know, listen to. You need know, to dissect and bisect. <laughs> bro, <music>. like, <laughs> bro, knew everybody's album. Like, I, I could have told you everybody's album, everyone, everyone, everyone from top to bottom, even if I liked it or not. Yeah. <laughs> That's how much I love music. So then, like. University, I went to UMass Amherst, bro. At that time, I wasn't playing basketball serious anymore. I just, like, I was in school. I'm like, okay, maybe we could lock in with this business. We do finance. Um, I wanted to be a financial advisor. I wanted to, like, I still wanted to be in the realm of entertainment. Yeah. I wanted to be a financial advisor for, like, athletes. I, I didn't like the idea that they go broke after seven, five to seven years. That's the statistic. I didn't like that. So that was what I was going to do, if not for music. So on my way to the library to go be studying accounting, Lo and behold, there's a studio <laughs> in the library. In the library. Even, even my school to now. Uh, uh, which school you go? I'm uh, uh, Oh, yeah. You went to Low? No, North Eastern. No, okay, you said uh, that. North Eastern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was li- the, the studio was up in the library mm-hmm. too. So it's like library rather than mm-hmm. <laughs> studio. Bro, on the way to class, we passed this library. I Me, mean, I'm not seeing books. <laughs> I'm seeing that studio. It's a very tall, like 30 foot. 30 floor library, mm. like many floor, 30 floors, bro. I was skipping class to go to the studio by this point. What's my, what's my, like one of my mates, my classmates, you don't show me how to use, first it was GarageBand, then you don't show me how to use Logic, then you don't show me how to record myself, even a small, small way as yeah. you can hear something. Like, oh, now my voice be that, that one. Yeah. So once it got to that point, that was like 2015, 2016. And I started really like, God, my school was. My academics was like failing at that point, not because I I, I no get sense, sense but, but I no get time. <laughs> <laughs> you don't find you don't find difference. It's not I no get sense, it's because I no get time. Like, bro, I have to do this music. Music thing. Thing. <laughs> I have to be. I have, right, to, you don't change. Bro, I have to be passionate about something. Yeah. Because I'm sitting in these classes and I'm like, bro, the information I have to gather to help these people, I don't care. <laughs> bro, oh, yeah. I don't care, bro. Just get me to the point where I know this stuff to yep. help people. But all this, oh, yes. all these, bro, hmm. man. And I'm like, pass, bro. <laughs> I'm like, bro, it's not going to work, bro. I was, I would just sit there like, guy. Thank God for it being you, my armor. Such a big school, yeah. guy. Go like this. <laughs> go like, hmm. You know, <laughs> you can really dice that Pass out. because it's like I was too busy working on music. music yeah. Whereas, like for a while, it got to a point where I couldn't balance it, bro. Like I don't fail out, mm-hmm. and it happened at the time where now I'm going into Afro. The way it happened, it was crazy. Like I got that letter from the school, you're academically dismissed, and then I was in Nigeria, and this is the turning point from rap out to Afro, Afro beats, beats, 2018. Yeah. So I get that email. I'm in Nigeria, actually, when I'm getting this email, that guy, you have to do this appeal, letter nonsense to be reinstated for the next semester. Mm-mm. I know one go. I know one go. <laughs> Bye. Guy, guy, guy. Bro, I enter Niger, like, maybe for the first time, almost 12 years, 2018. It was so long in between that yeah. time. So when I came, it was me, my papa, my, my sister, we were just, first we went, East went to went to uh the village went to away but when we were in Oweri now we're at this soccer match and I made Arsenal fan Arsenal fan me too for life yeah Arsenal but I know understand why I was born an Arsenal fan you understand when you're family now my dad's an Arsenal but I never like again I. <laughs> At least at first, I didn't. Now, I, I, I saw what to happen. My yeah. guys, were, I, I'm sharp with my Gs. Like, yeah, yeah. But at that point, it wasn't. So the reason why he even like follow us now, now one Kwakanu, Papilo. Oh. Now him be the reason why he would follow us now for him. Yeah. Now him they there for that soccer match. I don't like. He's sitting next to me. To be actually quite honest, he's sitting right next to me. There's like these tables with all these guys from the 1994 Olympic team. All day, they're all there for that. Well, a lot of those guys, I can't say everyone. Yeah. So that we're sitting here, we have plenty of people coming to do picture. Oh, they want. So, but he's trying to get someone's attention, and it's like ah, like I think he was trying to get something to drink. So I like offered him my drink. I'm okay, but like, like who are you? 
Like, I'm sitting next to Papilo. Papilo. My, even my dad's like, guy, like, bro. Papilo, my, my, guy. Yeah, like, my, dad, no, my papa is to my right. Papilo to my <laughs> left. My, my dad's like, bro, nah, him be that one. Like, you get it, like, bro. Like, bro. I was just like, okay, I guess it's him. So he's like, who are you? I said, oh, I'm Ugo Boy. You know, I do music. He's like, okay, uh, where's your CD? I almost laughed at him. I'm like, CD? <laughs> Sure, you don't want to do Apple Music or any of them, or, or at least Audio Mac. I didn't have a CD for him. He was like, okay, well, um, I get studio for Lagos. Sure, if you come to my studio in Lagos. Just like that. I never met the guy before. But everything is packaging, positioning. Like You have to be someone to be sitting next to Papilo on this day. Bro. So that's at that point, I'm still Don Cruzio. I'm still rapping, but yeah. I'm, I'm just starting now. Doing my one two with Afro beats, Afro beat, yeah. whereas like songs I never released, I was playing in the village, and I'm getting all of this love for my music. Whereas they don't take three years to get some energy like that, just for me doing Afro. So I'm like, what happened in three weeks? I've done everything. Everything that I, actually though. Yeah. So at that point, I'm like, bro, there's no. <laughs> you don't need any more convincing. <laughs> oh, like, bro, this guy don't call me to. Papilo, Papilo, not just some guy. The legend Papilo, don't call me to come to the studio. Well, not Lagos. Blessed, man. Like that's how my Afrobeat career started. That was like my first jam. Now money. That's on. Or you get to the money, shake up your body. Like that was my like very first like Afrobeat song as Ugo Boy. That was recorded with like at Papilo Studio. Are you serious? I swear down. I swear down. That was 2018. So like, at that point, it's like, bro, like, what's in you want? Like, you who don't. Sh- who should I? Which angel you want me to control? Mm-hmm. You know, like, we're, we're, <laughs> you're like, for your dream. Like, bro, this is no clear. You know, clear. No clear. I like sharply, sharply. Like, bro. <laughs> I didn't want to leave. So I, this is happening, bro. Like, and then school they to make. You understand? They won't send letters. Send letters to the man when I do papilo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jerry. Like, send bro. you, <laughs> bro. But like, I, I had to talk with my pops. So I had to go back and do that one. Yeah. yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't trying to hear any of that. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, you, got, you gotta go do it. I, I didn't want to leave Lagos at that point. So from then on, it was like, guy, we go to Lagos, we go to Lagos. Following year, I can't even remember why I didn't end up going. It was just like I was doing so much m- movement before that time, before buying a ticket for December. Ah, guy, it's not happening this year. <laughs> we didn't go. Then COVID happened, and then you get so that year we didn't go again. And and uh, you know, we thank God. I was blessed with his son. So that motion, that idea, we just won't come and go. That one was, I had to earn that. That was fought for. That was, it's not easy, you know. So even when it, I finally got chance to go 2021, that departure from Yankee to Lagos was not easy at all. Yeah. You get, it wasn't easy yeah, at all. But I knew I had, but like, bro, since that moment it happened 2019, because it was from Christmas 2018 into January Bro, from that moment, I'm like, bro, I, I have to go back to Lagos. Like, even the thing was late, like later that year, like, what's his name? Uh, Solid Star. Shout out to Solid Star. Shout man. out to Solid Star. I don't get that much. I love Solid Star. Bro, you? he don't offer. My God, he, he don't offer uh, me and Uche Malik deal. He won't sign us like that year, 2019. But it just, you know, it didn't really make sense to do so. But, like, even, like, there was just so many things happening so fast, so soon, where it's like, God, how can you not believe in what's going on? Even even when it be like, say, like, not everybody understand what you they do for this music, the sound you're going for. Because, like, there's still a part where you have to understand the lamba to now ginger this side while you're still... Selling to your Yankee side because you get these songs, you get person where you get minds who want to say, ah, bro, if you kind of like just take it easy, easy with the, yeah. we don't really understand you. It may not be for you to understand. Mm. It's not for you to understand if I have to change it. <sighs> if you they feel on me, they feel on. They feel like they feel on. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> you get me. Ah. It's for it's who is for. It's for, it's for those who understand. They don't even need to. Not try. Don't 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 try. Don't
oh, guy, you should do this project. Even before that moment happened, I came to Lagos with a plan. Things didn't go the way it was supposed to. Things actually botched. I had a whole like rollout team of people who I was supposed to be working with. It just didn't go that way. So now I'm just in Lagos by myself. I have people then, that that I knew that migrated to Lagos from Boston. Yeah, you get I had maybe, I had one cousin in Lagos. So it was maybe three contacts, maybe three contacts in Lagos. You know, maybe maybe one musically related. You get yeah. So it's like, bro, we 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 worked our way outward. We just built it's all about divine timing. Yeah, bro, divine timing. Bro. Being at the right place at the right Bro, time. So that's what happened at the wrong place. Like when you did that Passion and Palava album, like police arrest, mm-hmm. on a day police hand, mm-hmm. literally. Plenty times for that. Bro, <laughs> as we are doing that project, the amount of times I was stopped on the road, I don't have enough fingers to show you. Sure. Bro, I don't know, like things have calmed down small, small, mm-hmm. but that particular like period, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, go enter road without getting stop and search. Yeah. It's not just your pockets. God, they won't enter phone. Go enter. I'm like, that was your accent too. Mm, like yeah, Yankee nah, boy. Yankee boy. You see the way see, I see, see, fresh. Yes, now, nah, yes, now. Nah. they don't like they anything. Don't. Like, guy, <laughs> yeah, calm down. Uh, what do you do the, for uh, work? Now that I end that uh, SARS, end SARS period now, right? Oh, yeah. 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 Very brutal, then, bro. It was not. It's not easy, bro. It's not easy time because it's like it gets it gets bad. Even even after the end, I was like, they're still they're not easy, bro. They're not easy, you know. That's why, like, bro, like when when I'm, when I'm I, like being in Nigeria versus being in like Yankee, I'm still sharp here because I don't want to lose that edge that I have to navigate with, like in Lagos. But it's almost toxic. That I enjoy it. I, I like that edge a little bit. That 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 fast that life, pace. That's that, I like it. Without messed up it is. Yeah. I know. I it's know. sickening almost because I there's so much I want to change. There's so much about it that I'd like to change to make it a more yeah. enjoyable experience. But, but it's what like, would you change? Hmm? Like what you could change if you get power? Bro, if I if I mean if I get power to change anything, right? Yeah. First and foremost, lights. It no go come from Nepal again. It go come from solar panels, like more updated lights. Even if you no get money, you still should be able to get lights. Light, yeah. Why? Why should I be? Why are you charging somebody for something that we can get from the sun? From the sun, yeah. There should be more access for that. There should be like the fuel scarcity. The way you won't go mobile or shell, and you know from Sunday to Saturday their schedule is open from six in the morning to. Two in the morning yeah. every day. There'll be someone there at six, and they'll be open till two, two. two every day, no matter what. And if they are not there, you can call corporate because yeah. it shouldn't be like that. Whereas Nigeria, if you want, too. if you, you you go enter that road every day, but you know, go know what you go find for fuel. Can you imagine? imagine? That's life, though. People yeah. are used to that. That was uh, a normal thing. <laughs> No, it's not. It's not okay. It's not okay, yeah. Bro, when I was in Lagos this this past time, my cousin, shout out Trauma, she dated Marilyn, but like she was with me in Lagos, and it's like some of these things that we are going through. Where I'm like, no, I lost. It's cool. She's like, Ugo, no, no, it's not okay. Like, bro, like you coming from Yankee, you know this is not okay. This is not okay. Yeah. You get so it's like. But me, like again, me on my mission. Yeah, you I hear you, but yeah, I, yeah, you I know. What, I can, know, we, what can you do? Can you, you get do? me? Yeah. If I have to do this, just so okay, I know someone's going to. I jam them at that point in time. Then people, are like, bro, how did that happen? This is how it happened, bro. I am a soldier, bro. I go into enemy lines on my knees and my short and my elbows. That's how I go into, and then when when I come out with the lion said, said yeah. you like say Ugo. You don't pay for that don't one. Don't pay for that oh, one. Oh, yeah, now wrong with that one. I don't pay for them. That's the pay pride, plenty. Man. I don't pay That's plenty. That's the pride, yeah, yeah. I don't pay plenty. People don't say, they don't see me for sure. I will go pay for that. I don't pay plenty. Plenty. No, that makes sense. Plenty. Not the, not the payment where you won't do pay to play. No, no, this payment are investment, investment bro. Investment, yeah. <laughs> She's different, man. Very different. Very different. Whew. So, man, it's been... 
It's been an amazing time, Mugo. I still, I still feel like I still won't bring you back on another time. We get so Ooh. much to talk about, man. Ooh, so anyhow. much to talk about, like yeah, so much to talk about. Then sure. the next project too. Mm-hmm. I beg when you when you drop them, yeah. I beg Mugu. You know, no let's problem. yeah, we'll let's, you know, let's, that, This yeah. is your place too, bro. Like, feel free, feel free, feel free, feel free. My God. second to last question is: Where do you see yourself five years from now? What's the what's the plan for um, flourish? Flourish forever, right? Mm-hmm. Flourish forever. Flourish forever. What what what's the plan for Google Boy? What's the plan for the team? Like where do you see yourself five years from now? Five years from now, things will be scaled upward, whereas the, the label will be fully developed into the corporation that it's supposed to be. In the case where where you they see like Q C or any of these big labels yeah. where they create mega stars over and over and over again. You do you go see powerhouse for flourish. Yeah. It's not just Ugo, it's not just Uche Malik. We get power, we get Cassie, we get many like superstars that enter the house. So five years from now, that house will be a household name worldwide. Mm. Worldwide, where now we are in a position to create opportunities for the next person. Even if it's just small, small business, it may not be signing someone, but like the label will be, we're talking Maven's Energy, we're yeah. talking Chocolate City, Chocolate we're talking, City, get yeah. me, like we're talking Dapa Energy. Shout out to Team Dapa. So yeah. it's like, that's where I want to take the label. You get me? Like I want, I want push it outwards. Like, bro, like it's not just about UG, but I have to get myself to a point where, oh, that's if I believe in someone, I can do something about that belief. Yeah, you know, we just gotta believe in the house. You, you know? understand? Like, <laughs> you know, bro, yeah, do we pat power. them on the back? Yeah, yeah. Nice one. Nice. What's your house? What's your house? What kind of house? So, like, with the label, that's five years from now. We're expecting that, you know. For Ugo Boy, ah, five years from now, will be maybe a few albums in, a few Grammys in, many, many, many top 100 yeah. singles. Selling out stadiums. Bro, mega, big time. Bro. Yeah, doing movies, modeling, fashion, all that kind of thing. Like, creating opportunities for more people like like myself, yeah. both here and abroad. Cre- yeah. Like, five years from now, Ugo will be, you know, giving more credit for being a pioneer of that gap yeah. between, bridging the gap between uh, all, not just Yankee and, and, and Nigeria, but like even for those from London that come from diaspora that have left that bridging where it's like you feel more comfortable at home. You get me? So five years from now, guy, like this this thing where you they see now like this, the impact would be so powerful. And times bro. five. Times five. I can't I can't tell you each every each like individual Moments. like uh Achievement that will happen because there'll be many. Yeah, I believe there'll be that. many, but in terms of what I can say and manifest, what will happen five years from now, guy, the impact, the way we will change, how people see each other, how you operate as an individual, how you want to move, things like that will shift small, small now because it's like it's not. I'm not saying I'm a role model, ah, but in a way I am yeah. because it's like I'm not perfect, but the way I carry myself. Guy, you go learn something now. You go, you go learn I mean, something. You're supposed to look up to you right now to learn yeah, from that too. You know, so Even right now, when people see you perform, it's like, how do you do that? I want to be like, I want to do like that because mm-hmm. the video too high to achieve right now. Mm-hmm. You understand, right? But if you do it in UG, they do. Mm-hmm. It's more like right now. I know it no cost millions. You understand, right? But like the video probably spend like thousands to get what he's having. You understand, right? But like you can look at UG and say, man, I want to be like that before I can be like, you know, so. So level, you know. Yeah. 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 Five years from now we David Joe level, Brown Boy level, Stadium, Bad Boy Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. Like, yeah, bro. Like not just opening for someone, someone. twenty thousand, thirty thousand. You are David Joe on the same. Yeah, no. You no. find that coin your show, yeah, you no. understand, right? Five years from now we're going to we bro, at that point, if you don't know, you're never gonna know. You never know what's gonna happen for this UG like agenda, you, guy. You are you are living like this. <laughs> you're black. You're living like this and like this. You're, you're just that's the only way because you go see him, you go feel him. Mm. Be everywhere. Too loud. Too loud. Too loud. Everywhere. I love that. The UG effect. People will start coming to. UG effect. You understand? <laughs> I like that. Yeah. UG effect will be instated where everybody won't come for something. Where they won't come for be. They won't yeah. verse. They won't do business. They won't consulting. They want to bridge the gap. Guy, who do you know? Do you, bro, I don't. I don't like to speak on the points of context I've created for other people. Yeah. Connecting dots. Five years from now, guy, the space that UG we are, we're talking like pushing Diddy level, mm. Don Jazzy level. Mm. We're approaching that space because it's not just about the music, yeah. bro. The music is so important. It's everything. 
But if you sink yourself in that, when you stop singing and you look down to say, God, I have 20 million, 20 great songs that did millions, ah, you never look for the business, you don't go have anything. So, at me, I get picking, I want more. Yeah. I expect my pickings to get yeah, pickings. More. Yeah. And I want something to give them. Yeah. And I feel like the music will allow me into spaces to create that times 10, uh, yeah. times 100, yeah. but not just for me. It's not just about me. So that's where even being an outsider, it's, a, it's like people like us can feel comfortable. It's not just about me. But you have to start somewhere. Yep. I love that, man. I love that. So, last question. This one I want to add to ask everybody who comes to the podcast. Mm. If you fit, you know, if you could sit down with, I don't know how far back I want to take it to, but like the younger UG, you know, those basketball days. Yeah. That was still writing lyrics and, you know, mm-hmm. if you could sit with that, UG, and advise him about life based on what you know now, what advice would you give to him? Act fast. Act fast. Life no go wait. Act fast. Why? Because, bro, like, when I've learned and I've seen that when I act fast on something I'm convicted about with a plan, it's yeah. not just acting carelessly. Right? When I do that, when I move with conviction, there's nobody, there's nothing anybody can say that will ever change how I see what I'm seeing. At a younger age, I would allow, I would still be confident, but someone could rattle the cage. Someone could, someone will push it out. Balance it. But now it's like, if you push me, you yeah. self, you go fall. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, the so, mountain, the oh, mountain, yeah. mountain. So just act fast. Act fast, man. That's a powerful yeah. one, man. Act fast. Like, I can relate to that. Yeah, I can relate to that. Like, you know, some so many people out there. You know, they get the idea, they get everything, but they're just a yeah. probably waiting. I don't know what they wait for. You understand, know, right? Like, I've been in situations like that too. But like, act fast, act fast. But not carelessly, though. Not carelessly, you get it, like I don't want people to think. I'm saying rush, just rush. rush to everything. No, maybe just act quickly. quickly. Maybe fast is too fast. Quickly with pace and yeah. urgency. Yeah. Move with conviction. That's that's why I would tell young guy UG. Like yeah. move with conviction. Don't be so quick to tell the next person what you're trying to do. Tell them when you've done it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, guys, you have had it all from here, UG. My guy. Thank you so much, man. Bro, thank you no, for no, having no, me. No, 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 you too much. You too <laughs> much. You too much. I like I said, I still want to have you G again. You know. Yeah, no. Hopefully, when you when you drop the album, or if, if I if you get you that thing, like we, yeah, no. somebody they had me one talk. You understand? Right? You're like, you know what? I need to express my feeling. I need to say something that no problem. something is bothering my heart. You understand? No, right? I'll be calling uh, you. Please, 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 <laughs> like. <laughs> It does what no problem. I'll come back. As you need somewhere to, you know, do you need you know, to hear me just now? rant, you understand, yeah, right? Yeah, like you wake up one morning and say the vexes on <laughs> give me a call, I go <laughs> set up I'll set up podcast for us, man. But no bro, problem. that was amazing. Like Incredible. trust me, I I no surprise what you give me. You know, you get right. I expected it because I have seen you, I've seen the kind of person you are, I see where you're going to, bro. Like the next time we go even sit down and talk about this podcast now, maybe now, even for, for your own company, you understand, yeah, yeah. right? Your own company, you don't, you don't build your 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 label and then everything. You get, like, mm-hmm. your own your home, and we just did here to talk about yeah, no. music or something else, man. But, like, you sure. know, bigger you, bro. Like, bigger Thank you, you bigger you. Thank you once again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, you. you move to New York tonight, right? Uh, yeah. And yeah, we get motion for New York now. But yeah. let them know now. We'll show you the... I know be sure. It'd be just, like, uh, like you get a person wearing one shoot video. Oh, okay, okay, so, okay. So... You know, we just did Brooklyn like that. So me and my G we go to New York, come back. Come yeah, back, okay. so do yeah. promo, push push the record, you know. So that yeah, man. So. And so how can how can people, <clears throat> you know, follow you, support you, your music, everything? Because you know? yeah. I mean you've impacted us so much and the least we can do is go listen, follow, like Absolutely. and all that, yeah, you know. Man. So how can people be part of the UG effect? Yeah, no. <laughs> for my outsiders, for my outsiders, bro. My music is everywhere. Anywhere where you want to listen to music from Apple Music, uh, YouTube, Spotify, Deezer, Audio Mac, they everywhere. SoundCloud is there. So look up Ugo Boy, U G O B O Y. I go day there. Sweet, sweet music. Like you, you don't even have to leave anything where you won't get. Go day for that catalog. You get so just scroll down, scroll, scroll through. Down. <laughs> you can see you everything. <laughs> so 
for IG, yeah. Twitter, Facebook, the Ugo Boy, T H E U G O B O Y, the Ugo Boy. So if you want to see me for TikTok, that one, let's see Ugo for let's TikTok. Ugo. But everything else is the Ugo Boy. So I'm telling you now, like, as we did here, like this, come on, join. For the enjoyment, things the are good on this side. The outsiders, we are enjoying. Yeah, outside, no, no. You know, understand? We did outside. <laughs> like <this. laughs> Life is soft and sweet over here. Anything where we want to do, we go do them. So, if you enjoy that kind of lifestyle, you should join this movement. UG Thanks. bad guy, Nigeria's right. favorite Yankee. I day with you. you get and then we sign out. Yeah, no. Yo, chi. So, guys, thank you so much for listening to today's episode. Oh man, I love you guys so much. Thanks for the time. Thanks for everything. Once again, shout out to Ugo Boy. Uh, the single is out. Enjoyment drops on Friday. Make sure you go stream it, listen to it, share it with friends, dance to it, walk out to it, uh, whatever you want to do to just it. Just play the damn play, song. Play the, you play won't even dance. realize. You'll just be going, yeah, baby, yeah. rock and move slowly. Hey. I won't chop on my dummy. Mm. If you like, I'm going follow me. You get it. Yeah, yeah now. Nah, uh-uh. so okay. Make sure you tune in now. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, have an amazing week, guys, and to meet again, peace.